going on, everybody? Welcome back to another jam-packed episode of the Vile Files Reality Recap Edition. I am your host, Nick, joined by the household of Allie, a sweet, sweet, sweet boy, Justin. Oh, my God. And back, Sierra Robin. What? What, what Allie? What, no, what? it was when Justin switched to my angle, I was just like. <laughs> are you are you okay scary, now sorry. i just have like the word i don't have like a pleasant face i'm not like a joyful person so Same. i had to like yeah. oh okay yeah, well, yeah. I, I have a an unpleasant resting gaze as well so yeah, it's okay sierra robinson returned she's at the desk today i'm so excited about yeah. this yeah, Sarah's very, <laughs> so today your forecast yeah it, it looks you good on you very you're also drinking prosecco it does look drinking good on you. prosecco oh, yeah. i'm wearing a it's blazer also drinking with Sierra, <laughs> uh, Arisha. Oh, no, oh, God, God. I'm, think, no, You're I'm thinking. You're so close. I'm thinking Alicia Keys. <laughs> You're thinking too hard. I'm th- yeah. I am. That is the problem. He said, "Don't say it. Don't say it, Arish." Her, par- <laughs> her parents weren't thinking Arisha, that hard. So don't, Arisha, she shouldn't either. Arisha, I got it right. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. Like Ali, Ari- Arisha. That's all. <laughs> Give it, it all. That's all that matters. That's all yeah. yeah, you got you it. Did it. <laughs> Returning to the show. <laughs> And a much easier name to pronounce, Brooke, yes. her co-host from yes. Even the Rich, uh, and also Even the Royals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, a very popular show, uh, Even the Rich, about all your scandalous. Yeah. yeah, deep dive into celebrities' lives. Do you basically. need to wait for the Vanderpump cast to become actually rich for the, you guys to cover? We, we actually, did a live show. You did about first live show ever about Scandal. About Scandal. It was like a narrative. Like story yeah. about Scandal from Ariana's point of view. From Ariana's point of view, yeah. you guys also have even the Royals. We do. Yes. Yeah. New yeah. Show. Congratulations to that. I see Thank that. You. I see that charting. Yeah. Yeah. That was very exciting. Yeah. I yeah. posted a screenshot. We were one, and you were like four. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I was like, I'm not cropping this. Yeah. Well, I mean, they definitely, they definitely like. You <laughs> and know, then every award other new week. shows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Miles Miles is like, we don't have to take screenshots. Yeah. We're just always up there. <laughs> But like, congratulations! Yeah, you know, I, like I thought, congratulations. Yeah, I didn't know we were competing in this particular episode, but like, I mean, you know, okay. not your eyes looking like the eye emoji is like. Look, I will fuck up your show. <laughs> uh, Finally, we get that. You guys have a great show. Uh, speaking of uh, the royal family, just yeah. to kick, and we have so much to talk about. Maybe let's just set up some ex- front expectations with our audience. What yeah. all the things we're going to get into? We have. Where's Kate Middleton that we're about to talk about? We got the Cyrus family drama. Like, oh my God. Yeah. Wow. God, I love wow, it. Wow, wow, wow. Then we will <laughs> dive deep into uh, Bravo World, starting with uh, the Rachel versus Tom and Ariana That's- lawsuit. Uh, just more lawsuits in Bravo Nation. Then, you know, subsequently we go VPR. We'll do some Housewives. Oh, and Summer House. Summer House. Summer House. Since we had Lindsay Hubbard on the show, she really yeah. made a splash in this episode. Uh-huh. gaslighting her former partner uh, and using his sobriety against him for a little uh, spat, which was an interesting move. Summer's supposed to be fun. Yeah. yeah. Summer is supposed to be fun. It's supposed <laughs> to be fun. And then uh, we'll get into uh, Love is Blind and uh, wrap it up with The Bachelor, I think. Traitors as well. Traitors. Oh, Traitors. my God. We'll oh, start with tra- Yeah. So <sighs> it's just so much to talk about. But we are here. We are here and we're here for you mm-hmm. to get it all into your favorite content. All right, where the fuck is Kate Middleton? My I didn't even know this was a thing. And then all of a sudden my Twitter feed, every mm-hmm. other tweet was a yeah. joke about yeah. where Kate Middleton is. Are you guys concerned? Is there something going on with the royal family? Let me Allie has let me know that <laughs> the all the most important people seem to be kicking it. But it was a really good time <laughs> for Harry not to be such a little bitch. <laughs> oh, wow. Tell us how you Hot really take. Feel. Yeah. Well, that's where Kate is. She's what? summering with her. She's having an affair in-laws. with Harry. No, she's, she's having an affair with Harry. That would be good. With... I like that answer. Can you, you that? imagine? Yes, <laughs> I sure can. No. I don't. I'm not worried about her. We need Bravo cameras mm. to pick it up. Do they just like the attention? Is that because, like, I, I think I said this on Pop Extra. The beauty of the very few benefits from social media as it relates to like how it's affected our culture. But yes. from the eyes of a celebrity, what social media has done. Mm-hmm. Is they've at least on on some level decreased the impact the paparazzi has had because yes. you can mm-hmm. be like you know what That's true. this is what I'm doing uh, yeah. yeah and you could just selfie it and you could put it out in the world yeah. you can control the narrative absolutely it could even be like in your bed in your bathroom like it doesn't even have to you don't have to be full glam <laughs> it, you could be like aha uh-huh, hashtag authentic but why isn't Kate Middleton <laughs> just like clearing it up just giving us a little something you know but like yeah, why is it so question. mysterious 
I, why is it like she? Why is she off the radar so much that the world has freaked out? And now it's like BBL accusation. Yeah, I mean, and now we're just absurd. having fun. Yeah. Now it's just yeah. like, yeah, you know. Well, can you answer that, Brooke? Absolutely, Nick. Thank you Thank, so much for yes, asking. Right. I think you're. That's a really good point. So it's either got to be something serious that they don't want us to know about, mm-hmm. or they just like the drama. Right. Because like, but why also the royal family is so like particular about their well yeah shit. and they're so controlling over their narratives or they try to be very controlling over their narratives that i feel like even if kate wanted to just post like a screenshot from the tub being like i'm great just recovering they wouldn't let her so she's a prisoner yeah yeah but isn't she their like golden child like sure. compared if you to read Meghan this Markle, stuff like, that was happening to her the, this is the consequence of the fact that i think harry and Meghan are no longer there one we don't have an extra couple as senior royals to take over these engagements. And two, like they talked about in their Netflix documentary, there's a lot of swapping of stories and things and deals they have with the media between their kind of different houses or camps, if you and will. Yeah. And now it's like we don't have Harry and Meghan to distract us in the press. So it's just where is Kate Middleton? Are yeah. Harry and Meghan like loving this or? Oh, God, they have to be. They've it's got to be it. nice to not have a bunch of page six posts about her for Megan, I'm sure. <laughs> I know, yeah. Taking a break, finally. Yeah. yeah. But I do think that, because there's that long storied rumor that Will, is his name William? William? Yep. Bill. Prosecco was hitting me. <laughs> uh, that William has stepped out on Kate many, many times. Yes. <gasps> so it's mm-hmm. like, it's You've one of those things. I, I'm, I really only <laughs> just make fun of Harry and <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> But like, I could see, you know, maybe this is the final straw and she's like, I'm done. Yeah. Could see something like that happening. He's Wait, cheating on Kate. Yeah. That's the Allegedly. rumor for a long time. Yeah, I don't trust that guy. Look at him. You can't trust love shady like that. He's shady. And remember, he like used to be the hot one. Yeah, back in the day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember when he was, my like, friend 19. was obsessed with him. And now, is he not? This is a genuine question. <laughs> genuine question, Allie and Brooke. Um, <laughs> and I can't pronounce. He won't even say my name. I'm so terrified. Name. I'm so Arisha. <laughs> Like Alicia with an R. <laughs> exactly. You, Alicia with an R. It's my dyslexic brain. I go through like you should you should be inside my head when this happens. It's like, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then I fumble the bag. Uh, why can't he why he's got unlimited resources? Harry? We're talking about Harry or, or William? William. William. William, William. And 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 oh, I know. we've done we've come so far. <laughs> in the world of technology when it comes to hair restoration. <laughs> oh, yes. I mean, listen, we're not supposed anything to from, talk about this. Anything but... from a pill yeah. to surgery, they're doing great things. You know, some of your favorite uh, actors, you mm-hmm. know, who you're all like, wow, they all have good hair genes. Yeah, can we name one, one that comes to mind? Well, I don't want to out anyone. Steve Carell. If you have eyes. I'll out him. Yeah, I mean, do, like, look at, yeah, look at episode one of The Office and look at, Steve yeah. Carell these days. Look at Chris Evans' hairline when he was just starting <gasps> versus now. And I love... And that's your There's some Bradley Chris Cooper, no you know, thoughts yeah. out there. Either way, they all look great. talk about it. They yeah. all look great. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Joel McHale Joel is... Joel McHale is who I was going to say. Who, who is very open. Yeah. Has some of the best hair in the game. I yeah. saw him. I didn't realize it until he made a cameo in like an old season of Will and Grace. Mm. And I was like... <laughs> no, I did a, I did a, I did a cooking show with him. He hosted it, and like Ben yeah. and I were on, and like I had just got done listening <laughs> to his episode on Justin Long's podcast, where he's just like, "Yeah, I would be bald as shit yeah. if I didn't have a hair transplant." And just like as a guy who's getting older and has some vanity, yeah, um, yeah. I just was like staring at Joe's <laughs> hair, and I was just, like, "Your hair looks so good, man! Like that's like good for you. You've like, yeah, any concerns I've had about aging? Like, thank you. He looks fantastic in person." Is, like, anyway, so why why can't <laughs> enough of me like talking You're about like Joe enamored with him, um, <laughs> right? You, why 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 doesn't he? Yeah, well, probably I mean, because I think he would have had to get ahead of it before now. Now, yeah. now it would now be way would too obvious, know. and then it'd be like he's using the taxpayers' dollars because like all of his money comes from tax. Can he mow some lawns? Is that what it is? He can't. Wait, what? What? Well, I'm just yeah, saying, like, like side money? Side oh, side like, get, get. You know, it's like, hey. I didn't know if that was like a euphemism for something well, that I didn't know. If he has to get everything checked because of taxpayer dollars, can he like have some yeah. like, no, this is my money. I can do it whatever I want with it. You know, like, he has to ask his dad for money. Uh, That's what they all have to do. He apparently. doesn't have any walking around money. No. You know? His yeah. dad. Anyways, you would, you would just you would think he could because you're right. You put us. You slap some hair on that man. It's a different. Yeah. He goes from all the way from like maybe a four <laughs> to an eight. He's Overnight. forgetting the accent. He has a British accent. He's like five. That's 
Okay. Oh, sure. you're adding one. You're one adding for one the jump. baseline, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, then the fact that he's a prince, does how many points? <sighs> I mean, nowadays, nowadays, yeah, the wool's been, it's not so great. Not so great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So now he's back down to a four. Now you're just like wondering if your genes are even clean. It's just like how many cousins are in this DNA pool? <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. literally. I also think it's like the genetics as well. It's kind of um, what MJ said in this week's episode of Traders when she was like, I don't think uh, what John is old. I think they just don't do Botox in the UK. <laughs> yeah. You know, she's never been to the UK. Yeah. Oh, That's I'll a great that. segue, too. That is a great segue. It's so good that maybe wow. we'll just jump around and I... start with Traders before we get into the Cyrus. It's the blazer. Yeah. It's yeah. the blazer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Traders, our new favorite show on <laughs> reality television every uh, Thursday night at nine on Peacock. Uh, this is, we, we will be talking spoilers up into the finale now, which I, it was great about watching this season for the first time. I don't even know how yeah. it ends. I don't, I don't, I'm well, learning about the show as it goes. I don't yeah. even know, like, are there more Traders? I don't know. What is the finale? What does it even mean? It sounds like this is the, one of the last uh, round tables that they're going to have to be able to accuse a traitor. So it sounds like maybe there's one more, if not two more situations. So. On the first season, mm -hmm. I can I don't know that it's going to be the same, but when they got to the final four, they have a chance to go around and say if they think a traitor is in. I can't remember if they can call out who they think it is. OK. And then if they call them out, they eliminate them. So there were two left last year in the final four and they were like just standing around a fire. It was wasn't it Ari? like Ari, yeah. but he was like, I can't do this. I'm a traitor. And he like came clean. Oh, no. And the other traitor did not. Sari Fields, who's like a legend. Uh, and she, she, she won. She won. Yeah. And, and the other two traders, because they were normal people on the first season. It was like normal people and then like reality stars. Wait, wait, what? Yeah. It wasn't all reality stars on no. the first season of Traders? Half of them were just regular people on a reality show with stars in their eyes and trust in their <laughs> hearts. <laughs> really? And wow. now Stop. they hate the world. And they were devastated because they were both very close to Sari. Sari, yeah. Who went on to be brother. a big brother. Wow. Yeah. Survivor wow. legend. Wow. Yeah. My big takeaway from this episode of Traders was we had the pleasure of speaking with Candy uh, uh -huh. the other week, <laughs> uh -huh. which really painted a picture. It really framed my opinion of Phaedra. Of Phaedra? Mm. Interesting. But I got to say, uh, regardless of what uh, I think of Phaedra, and I, I don't, I've never met Phaedra, so I, I can't have an accurate take about who she is as a person. But yeah. as a reality TV character, she is such a good she's villain. Cold. She is so, yeah. she's fun to hate as a yes. villain, as a TV character. Yeah. She was like Don Corleone, <laughs> you know, sitting in her throne of power. <sighs> yeah. You know, like being the one who's like, I didn't, no, that wasn't me. You know, mm -hmm. I don't, I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm just here. Meanwhile, she's just planning hit after hit. And she yeah. has all these housewives who are only voting Peter out because I know. <laughs> he's not a housewife. Ugh. I mean, she, she by Sheree. Is it she by Sheree? Yeah. 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 Joggers. She, she's sweet. Summer, winter. Can, is Th she? There's a well, meme. you know what oh. I mean. You know, she's sweet. Well, there's a meme going around right now, and it's of the moment of Sheree asking Phaedra if she's a traitor, and they're like, ah, oh, the moment that it clicked that this is what you're supposed to be doing on traitors. <laughs> <laughs> right as her plane was boarding. Her, her, big, her big plan. To, to try to uncover whether Phaedra was a traitor or not was to Just ask. ask her. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I, are you a traitor? And a traitor. <laughs> no. Well, 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 she can't be. She cannot possibly <laughs> be. Her. Well, and they edited it to make us think that maybe Phaedra was going to come clean and yeah. tell her, you know, like <sighs> they're not allowed. Peter is also uh, apparently dating Ekin Sue. I saw. Yeah. Oh, Lord, not Ekin Sue. A soft launch by his mom. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I thought Johnny Bananas was the one that. No, it was Barbara posted a photo <laughs> of, of, yeah, the mom posted a photo of her out at lunch with Ekin Sue and her daughter. And it was just very like, uh, Peter's not in the photo. It's not other cast members. It's very clear that it's like, mm, interesting. you're having lunch with your son's girlfriend. What is, what is your guys' <laughs> uh, lasting impression of Peter Weber? Here's the thing. This should be studied because the survivor to trader pipeline really changes my opinion of bachelors. Like what Ari, for example. After Ari season, are, let's are be honest. Are you trying to say that the Bachelor world doesn't accurately represent the full character of its cast? <laughs> I refuse and, to you. believe it. Just kidding. Yeah, um, <laughs> and they yeah exactly. Yeah. It makes, and I like watching The Bachelor this week, I was like, they seem so boring. And then you see them on the traders and they have personalities yeah. and they're likable. And thoughts and, and opinions. thoughts. Like Peter, he's a, he's well, a strategic icon now well, in the reality world. It, he, like, he is. 
flying the biggest commercial planes you can fly. Yeah. He is flying to like South Africa. Yeah, it sounded is... like a euphemism or something. I know. <laughs> yeah. really what did that? What does that really uh, mean? I, and I, I just, you know, you hope that Peter has the wisdom of a trader, like a someone on yeah. traders, and not someone on the bachelors. But like, <laughs> you know, the <laughs> problem plane, solving yeah. skills that are required to be a pilot. Yeah, Peter also like Peter has game. He, oh, as, yeah. as the kids say, he has the Riz. Is it the know. Riz or is it Riz? Just Riz. riz. It's, just, it's just Riz. Okay, <laughs> he sorry. has Thank Riz. You. I literally didn't know. <laughs> Thank you, sweet boy. I hate it. Thank you th- it's it. short for charisma. I know. I yeah. still oh, hate it? it. Yes, you didn't know that? Oh, I, I did. I also <laughs> think it's a British like wow. slang thing that like in when it comes over here, it's not natural. It's like the whole fetch thing. Like it's like, oh, we're gonna try to say Riz yeah. over here. I always think of like a reservation at the Ritz when I hear Riz <laughs> for some reason, and I'm like, this is such a stupid thing to say. Putting on the Riz. Yeah, I think like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Peter's gotten a lot of, you know, as as many Bachelor alums do, has gotten a lot of <laughs> from fans. You know, yeah. he had a very complicated ending to his season. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Barb is his mom. That complicates <laughs> things in itself. You know, when you he's, date the she's, mother. she's soft launching their relationships and <laughs> he loves his mom, obviously, unconditionally, as he should. Yep. Yeah. It's like just like a, it's just a tough look when you're when you're 30 years old and your mom's soft launching your relationships. <laughs> yeah. You're taking too long. Uh, that being said, like Peter has swag. He's got Riz. And I will never forget the first time I met Tyler Cameron. Uh, we were out <laughs> to lunch in New York and it was um, the season had not wrapped. Mm-hmm. And Tyler is Tyler. Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Good looking. Obviously very charismatic. Yeah. He's just mm-hmm. like, I, how could you not be? You know, like I'm, I'm reminded of pretty, pretty privilege when we're watching Joey. Joey acts like a guy who's just been hot his whole life. And I think that's where the <laughs> mm-hmm. charisma comes from. It's just like, yeah, I know. Yeah. Huh? It's just, just like, yeah. it's, but Peter, uh, I'll never forget. Tyler was like, we're at lunch. And he's like, you know, who's got like the most game in the business. He's like Peter <laughs> Weber. Wow. And you say Peter's, I, I'm, I'm every time I see him out, he's like the always this affable, fun guy. He's always around women. He's just like, <laughs> yeah. He he does he does well with the ladies. Whatever you yeah. might think of Peter Weber, he is not suffering in the uh, attention department when it comes to the ladies. So uh, he's the ultimate bachelor winner. Though. He seems oh, to yeah. be. I was going to say, did you remember from the interview when he said that he thought uh, I can sue when they pulled up in the SUVs was his ex girlfriend, and then I was like, well, uh, made her your new girlfriend real fast, now didn't you? Dude, that's right. He that, did that say is, that. Wow. <laughs> yep. He's smooth. I'm just going to date her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was terrified it was my ex, and now I'm like, great, new girlfriend. And now she will be at some point. Well, when you have a type, you know, you're just basically trying to swap personalities. You know? Which is <laughs> wild, because I watched an episode of Naked Attraction, and she got rid of one of the guys because... She was on the girls. show? No, no, just she's another character. Random person. Someone was like, a character was, or a person was like, I can't, I have to eliminate you because you remind me too much of my ex. Well, that uh, demonstrates the emotional intelligence that women have over men. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like, yeah. yes. you know, women okay. will be like, no, I'm going to help myself from my myself. <laughs> men are just like, no, 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 I can do this again. Like, this isn't. It'll be different this time. It'll be different this yeah. time. Yeah. But anyway, but I am sad to see Peter, Peter go. Me too. Uh, he had a good run. I was, and bummed. it was, it was, I was so disappointed on why they voted him out. <sighs> there's, there's too many. It's too much. Bravo, it, too many Bravo people. They gotta rein that in next time. And just, well, just final thoughts on just the CT of it all. Oh. I mean, that man is a perfect combination of like part brute, part teddy bear, <sighs> and just him. a really good jawline. <laughs> yes, I love him so much. When he did the cheers for John leaving. I was like, oh, and he does accents too. What can't this man do? Oh, I love him. I love and like, him. And I it's, a, it's a CT and the ladies, and they're like, we just need, we just have, we just need one man around to jump on the logs, and that's it. Yeah, we yeah. We'll kill the rest. Oh, when he did that challenge, where you would just think like he just he wouldn't be able to. He's been doing challenges for what twenty years since I was a child watching him on yeah, television. Yeah, go. And legitimately just like soared through there, and I was like, oh. My I knew he CT. was going to. Did you? I knew it. I was oh, like, yeah. get CT out there. Enough get- of this. No, he was like, this is made for me. Yeah. You can see just the joy in his <laughs> yes. eyes. Uh, and Trishel too. I mean, she's been doing the challenge for years. You know, they both killed, killed it. it. Yeah. Yeah. And then MJ made it. Finally. She did yeah, her, when her, her life her was on the line. <laughs> <laughs> she made it. She's like, I'm going to do, do or this. die. <laughs> yeah. They really, they really milked that. Oh, boy. You you know the power that Andy Cohen has over Bravo Nation because he is conducting the the, the reunion for yeah, traders yeah. and you, I love Andy as the host of all the all the reunions but yeah. like Alan coming right like why isn't mm. he hosting it I've always wondered that too it seems like an obvious like he should yeah. be hosting it and the fact that he's not you re- uh, Andy really has a stranglehold yeah he does. over that gig because like yeah, he's yeah not you would, you would think go. that Alan right he's would, there the uh, whole time would, would do it but. I looked it up and Andy's been with them for 20 years. Bravo? With Bravo, yeah. 
Wow. Good saying. Good, good run, Andy. I mean, yeah. he's made Bravo, though. That's true. Like, yeah. Housewives, Andy. All right. Well, anyways, yeah. uh, catch up on uh, Traders on Peacock Thursday night at nine. So for the finale, mm. so we can stop saying spoiler free. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Cyrus drama. Cyrus family drama. So bring us up to sp- who, who knows what's happening. <laughs> we have to talk about this today on our show. Yeah. It's wild. Really good and prepped. Allie. Okay. So have you ever thought to yourself, hmm, what if I was dating slash, you know, maybe more of a friends with benefits situation with someone and then you end things and then suddenly your mother is engaged to your ex fuck buddy. It's Truly is it wild. Noah Cyrus is the one? Noah. Yes. And it's so the guy Noah from Cyrus Prison Break? and Dominic yeah. Purcell yeah. were seeing Link each other prior to her mom marrying him. So they were seeing each other as friends of benefits off and on. <laughs> they stopped seeing each other and Tish started something up, a source said, adding that Tish knew he had been seeing her daughter. Tish never gave Noah the chance to talk about all this before they got married. And they huh? said, I do in Miley's backyard. Miley was the maid of honor. <laughs> Noah was not present at the ceremony. And Miley Cyrus has since come forward saying she had no idea about the dating drama surrounding, you know, Tish and her mom around the wedding. And the source said that Miley confronted her mom about it. She thinks it's a strange situation, but loves her mom and wants her to be happy. That family competes. I know. My eyes. Could you imagine? Twitching. That's Over not the like there's no there's things. no family bond. That is just a bunch of people <laughs> who think they're forever competing for status, which is crazy. But it makes sense though. It's kind of sad though. Imagine like having. <laughs> what well, well, makes sense? Like first you have Billy Ray in his heyday. He was yeah. Mr. Country Music star. Yeah. He was a list. Yeah. And then his daughter eclipsed his daughter. Him. Yeah. Even bigger. Yeah. And then you have the rest of the fam. <laughs> who like it must it must be tough. You know. And they're just all competing. They're all competing for yeah. status, and that that that's that's how this happens, right? Oh, I just love that. Like Miley's like the the star of the family, though, and she's just like, nah, I'm going to disappear for six months, and everyone else is like, By the way, here is the drama. And yeah. we're like, Wait, what? Well, but Miley Cyrus doesn't bring drama anymore, yeah. so they're she like, doesn't. We'll make our own. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it. each side is like, We got to get Miley? Otherwise, no one's going to take our side. Right? Seriously, Honestly. they're like, we need Miley on our team. I will say Miley is picking sides, though. because uh, She's picking Tish, right? When she got her award, I think it was the Grammys, that she yeah, was like, her dad. she, didn't she say her dad. said everybody, and she said, and I'm not forgetting people, and didn't say the dad. Yeah. But the only thing I'm forgetting is, is Noah and dad's team. Yeah, so Noah and the, Billy Ray, they've been publicly on one side versus mm-hmm. Miley Cyrus sides with her mom pretty God, much all the time. sad. Just the whole thing is the... Uh, yeah. It's also, so it's like weird. a reverse porn situation because <laughs> you know, don't you usually start with the elder and mm-hmm. yeah, you don't you don't you usually don't start and go to mom. Well, it's it's that that's definitely a kink. It's yeah. definitely a Law and Order SVU plot line. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> at least once a season. I was gonna say Jerry Springer. Like I was like, I'm that not, too, you know, yeah. like, you're guys, dating guys, the mom. Stop taking it away from porn. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> let's get back to that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I but don't. you're right, because uh, like, well, no, because it's like, oh, stepmom. Yeah, I guess, right. then, no. I guess and nowadays the daughter. it's all gotten really weird. Yeah. Yeah. There's something for everyone <laughs> nowadays. <out> <laughs> I imagine. I mean, how do you move forward from that, though? Like where it's just like, hey, mom, I've slept with your husband I just think or this hooked is, up with. I we think don't this know. Is, this is their, this is <laughs> what they call their family dynamic. Oh. I don't know. I don't, I don't think, think they care. What would you umbrella that as? I think there's, yeah, just, it's all competition. It is all about winning and losing. Yeah. There's no family. There's yeah. no family. That's sad. It is sad. I feel like we're looking at it through, like, the context of, like, our families. Like, right. oh, I would never do that. That's insane. But I feel like they're, for their family, like, what you're saying, like, they're all kind of, this is how their family functions. Like, this seems almost. Their currency is fame and yeah. attention and yeah. drama. Yeah. And, like, if my, that we talked about this, la- like, for Miley to publicly i don't know what her dad did you know and probably a lot of shitty things yeah. you know but to publicly yeah. use that platform is a, is an opportunity to just take a jab at your dad who gave you life her father her you know? first grammy win too um, to like make that mm-hmm. is moment. a choice yeah right. and it just it just says that there are no limits to mm. <laughs> Uh, or boundaries. There's no boundaries in this family. It is just about is about winning and losing. And then when you have Miley, the the matriarch of the family, mm-hmm. uh, poor Tish, poor Tish, yeah, poor Tish. <laughs> you know, picking a side, she's she's publicly saying, yeah, you know, whose side are you on? To her family, yeah, you know, 
I think I fell for it a little bit because when we first talked about it before we knew this part of it that he had dated Noah or hooked up with Noah. Whatever. And what's his name again? I just know him as Guy from Dominic, 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 Dominic Purcell. Purcell. I was like Team Tish because I was like, oh, whatever, let her live her life. Same. But now I'm like, I don't think I can say the same. I feel the same way. I was very much like, let Tish have her happy yeah. ending. It sounds like the relationship with Billy Ray was tumultuous. They were separated for a lot right. longer than they were divorced. And so I was like, by the time they were divorced, they accepted it. So yeah. I was like, yeah, get your hot man and yeah. wake up and, and live your happy life. But I'm like, that that would be like one little detail I don't think I could live over. <laughs> yeah, you that's, know? that's yeah. kind of a, It'd be a hard detail. Hook up with my daughter. Or if my daughter came to me and said something and for me to be like, Meh, well, we don't need to talk about this until after I say I do. It's yeah. a little... uh, She's like, that sucks. But have you seen his abs? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Come get on. over it. Do you, think they, do you think they swap notes? Ah! Oh, no, no, maybe no, not right now. <laughs> maybe when hey, they come Mom, back together. He hates it when I did this. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't Ew. go near his Ew. earlobes. He <laughs> hates that. Hey, mom, he's he's not much of a giver. <laughs> like you're gonna have to coach him up. Oh. He does love when you recite quotes from Prison Break, though. <gasps> oh, that gets him. Going. He love me then. <laughs> <laughs> love that show. Ah, oh, poor, poor. I just poor who? Poor fam. Poor yeah. everyone. The Except Noah. Dominic Purcell. He's doing fine. <laughs> no one's yeah, mad at awesome. him. No. Ever. No one's like, it is weird. First time I learned his name. Ever. <laughs> I still don't like, know what he looks like. If he was, if you brought five guys in here and said, pick out Dominic. Damn it. I wish we would have done that. Yeah. Too bad we couldn't that get him for this really show. <laughs> well, we can do it right now. Bring up uh, the cast of Prison Break and see if uh, yeah. we the names. <laughs> Ooh, the only I'm... one I know is Wentworth. Ugh. Which one do you think is Wentworth? Dominic Purcell? Michael Schofield. Is he the one? Was he the brother in Prison Break? Dominic, yeah. Uh, Mama Cyrus was sleeping with which person? No, no, you, this, that, well, that one, the one before. That, that, that one, that, go back, go back. <laughs> Close your eyes. There's a whole cast photo. That whole, there you go, right there. Which person? It says all their names. Oh, yeah, that's why they're Don't look at their names. I'm trying to not look at them. Don't look at their names. Don't look at their names. Does this work? Just give me like a. Oh, there you go. Make it bigger. There we go. Yeah, yeah right there. Um, I would guess. Can, even, can you even see them? I can't Wait, really photo. tell. Hold can on. you make it bigger? Yeah. Oh, no. no the other photo. The other photo. <laughs> oh, my oh my god the internet is killing me Wait, okay, okay. okay i'm gonna go. guess that dominic is no the one yeah that's uh, this photo there you go. thank you uh the guy in blue or maybe the guy in silver blue no one's wearing blue between the girl and the, with the girl with the oh. white dress one of the guys on either side of her yeah uh, no no that's okay so i'm gonna no. say no to that one second guess uh the guy in blue jeans with the black leather jacket nope no nope. <laughs> who, who, who has the most obnoxious outfit <laughs> it really is kind of obnoxious the guy in with a gray jacket, yeah, and and guy wearing sunglasses with sunglasses on. on. Yeah. That's yeah. Dominic. That's, that's okay. him. So the last this second man to last guy should not be sleeping with a girl in her early twenties. I am concerned. How old is he? Fifty. I don't know, but he's like white. His facial hair is white. Wait, <laughs> he's like fifty-four. Uh, I think. Oh my god, that guy was hooking up with Noah Cyrus, and that's what I'm saying. I think she's 24, 20, 26 or something. He's so. got grandpa. He doesn't have daddy energy. He has he has granddaddy energy. I think he's 54 now, and if it was a few years ago, I'm giving Grace at 50. That's I think the so hair, I think the white beard is, I, I think he looks younger than that picture okay. is indicating, just Anyways. because of the white. Hey guys, love more. Compete less, <laughs> Cyrus family. Genuinely. You only have one life, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course, There's plenty of other guys from Prison Break. What was that? that? Are hot. There's plenty of other guys from Prison Break that are just as hot that they could date. Truly, truly, yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> listed what, them all. What happened to the main guy? Is what, Prison Break Miller? on the way back? Are they bringing him back? I heard they were bringing it back. He's still really? around. He's still around. Is he married? Making good I don't choices. Know if he's, he's gay. Partnered up. He's gay. He's openly yeah. gay now. Yeah. Well, they can be so married. He's Heartbreaking so date for me. Been for a while. I <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God, oh, I was so in love with him. I've seen Prison Break like three times the whole way through. All the way through. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. I'm unwell. Okay. It's okay. I, I watched love it. Uh, just watched Breaking Bad for like the fifth time. Okay. Yeah. Really? You know. Well, now it's a hard show to rewatch. Really? Yeah, I don't like how it ends. Oh. <gasps> I need there to be actual justice, not self justice, and that pisses me off. Wow, a uh, wow. hot take well, I couldn't get past the we don't first three episodes. About, we don't have time to argue. It's about a that hard thing. show to get into. I can't. No, Is it? Better Call Saul is hard to get into. Oh, that's even oh. harder. It's impossible Bad. to get into. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're throwing me off here. <laughs> Stitch, Stitch fix. fix. Are you frustrated with not having the right wardrobe to Always. match your evolving <laughs> lifestyle? You, that used to be the case. 
Until? Stitch Fix. Because obviously we like variety. I feel like we are fashionistas. At least we like to think that we are. I'm looking fresh. I'm looking clean. I'm looking hip. He's got a gold chain on right now. I'm getting compliments from Justin Bieber. And it's thanks to Natalie and Stitch Fix. Because Natalie is my muse, but Stitch Fix is the vehicle in which that allows you to be creative with your wardrobe without spending a ton. Absolutely. It's also really good for kids. So if you have kids, you know, I think that- But I think for that kid age that's around like- I don't know, eight to like 12, where it's kind of an awkward clothing. You know, they don't really have mm-hmm. the cute stuff in the yeah. store. You know, Stitch Fix has the best options possible, and you just, it shows up right at your door. Stitch them right up your door. Try everything on at home. Keep what you like. Send back the rest. That's right. Stitch Fix is the best way to shop new styles and brands. Think of them as your, your style partner. Your stylist will learn about your taste and collaborate with you on looks you'll love without breaking the bank. You simply share your preferences, sizes, budget, and Stitch Fix sends you five items in a fix right to your door. With your choices in mind and sizes from extra small to 3XL, they'll find your perfect fit. And the best part is that shipping and returns are always free. So you can simply order a refresh as needed, or you can set it and forget it with regular fixes. You are in control. My favorite part. Thanks to Stitch Fix, they just get us, and they'll get you too. Try today at stitchfix.com slash V-I-A-L-L, and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.com slash V-I-A-L-L. Again, stitchfix.com slash V-I-A-L-L. Shopify! Are you selling? Are you in business? Well, if you are and you are not selling on Shopify, well, I got news for you. You're doing something wrong. Shopify is the premier e-commerce app. It's what everyone should. It's what we use here at the Vile Files. Uh, uh, It's what everyone I know and any type of e-commerce business is using. It's simply the best. It has drag and drop functionality. It is easy to set up. You can have a beautiful customer facing website integrated to your back end store with Shopify in a day. Honestly, uh, it's super easy to set up. It's super easy also to add applications that only enhance your Shopify and it scales with your business. So if you are a company of one uh, looking to be a company of a thousand, Shopify will grow with you. No problem whatsoever. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S. You some of your favorites like Brook Linens, Allbirds and so much more. And they can be growing with your business as well. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout, 36% on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. And their app, their phone app is super user-friendly. Not every app is created equal. You can run your business from your phone truly with Shopify and that little cha-ching when you make a sale. Very rewarding stuff. You can update your inventory. You can cancel, change customer service orders. It's incredible what you can do from your phone with the Shopify app. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash V-I-A-L-L, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash V-I-A-L-L, again, all lowercase, now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash V-I-A-L-L, all lowercase. I was going to say, speaking of getting into, should we get into the lawsuit? Yeah, we should. Let's oh, transition boy. here, guys. Speaking of. <laughs> <laughs> Time to put on our lawyer hats. Raquel is suing Tom Sandoval. Hmm. And Ariana Maddox. I'm just going to start <laughs> by saying my take overall is that Rachel slash Raquel continues to simply just get really, 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 really bad advice from people who don't care about her well-being, uh, yeah. her mental health, really her at all. Mm-hmm. And she is easily persuaded Yes. You know, I think she was easily persuaded by producers when she was on Vanderpump. Mm. One could argue she was easily persuaded by Tom Sandoval when she was in that. Mm -hmm. Not to take anything away from her responsibility in that relationship because she tries hard to Mm -hmm. shift the blame solely on Tom Sandoval, but nevertheless. And now she seems to be just persuaded by either the people of iHeartRadio and or any lawyers uh, who come her way. Bethany Frankel. (laughs) Um, and it just seems really, really sad. I think we can all agree, everyone in this room, that revenge porn is disgusting. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. It's awful. There's no place for it. Yeah. yeah. I am glad that uh, this uh, great country of ours has come down hard mm-hmm. and created said laws. And just disclaimer for all the people out there, it is alarming. Uh, if you send your friend, if you send someone a nude, Watermark yeah. them. As who mm. so Im- famously said in our show, uh, Lala. Wasn't it Lala Milan? Yeah, Lala Milan said it on this very show. I don't know if I don't. I don't know if she coined it on this show, but she 
gave us the insight that the only way to send a nude is to watermark them with the person's name you're sending it to. Oh, wow. Interesting. It's like so, when studios give us screeners. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So Notice that way, that. if it gets out, you know yeah, exactly who, That's smart. who leaked it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably just not send nudes. There, well, there's that too. But I, you know. <laughs> but but if if people want to send nudes, they should be able to I, without I, their I being I just yeah. remember growing up and just being alarmed by the amount of, in my circle, guys, <laughs> uh, who would unsolicited show show, you a nude of show the a nude of their partner and their and i would really? say so i don't know 15 25 percent yeah. off the top of my head so just yeah it, it's you know at your own risk um but that it's it's a disgusting behavior mm -hmm. uh yeah. revenge porn of any kind i think that goes without saying yeah Absolutely. i don't know if that's what we're dealing with here um and just the fact that this is coming out now this the timing mm -hmm. of it it's my understanding that the she is being represented uh by the same lawyers who are all part of this whole bravo yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. reality uh, reckoning reality yeah. reckoning and so uh and just the timing it i think ali right there's a statute of limitations on on revenge porn is that correct it's one year it's yeah. oh that it's seems one short year? by the way that seems yeah, very that seems very short. short now one year from the the act no. So one year from when it was discovered that it was either recorded, sent out, like from when it was discovered, which if you oh, remember, okay. that was Ariana ago, yeah. found it on the phone on March 1st, 2023. Yeah. yeah. When were these cases filed? February 29th, 2024. Yeah. Which any other year right would down. have been March 1st. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think also it's, it's interesting that she is uh, going after Tom Sandoval and Ariana because well, I don't know the inner workings of how revenge porn works from a legal standpoint. It doesn't seem like she has a, a strong case on either of them as individuals. And it's yeah. almost as if mm -hmm. like together there seems to be a case because Tom allegedly recorded it without her knowledge. Right. Yeah. And we are dealing with two people who we have known to be liars. So now it's a he <laughs> yeah. said, she said situation with that. Yeah. And then you have Ariana who allegedly was the one who distributed it. And it's my understanding when it comes to revenge porn, it's more about the distribution of yeah. the content yeah. so rather than the recording of the content. She has them, like she has four kind of things that she's suing for. It's revenge porn, invasion of privacy, eavesdropping, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. In my mind, the revenge porn has more to do with distribution because you can actually sue someone for revenge porn even if you were at one point okay with them filming it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it really, I mean, you can't also sue someone if right, they right. Yeah. filmed you without your consent, but I think that would fall more in the invasion of privacy and eavesdropping cases. So, yeah. So it's almost like Tom is being sued for eavesdropping and invasion of privacy and Ariana is being sued for the revenge porn aspect. So you could sue someone for revenge porn if one of the cases they listed as an example was if you were filmed without your knowledge and then it was distributed. So it's almost like Tom and Ariana together yeah. are that example of a revenge yeah. porn exactly. case. Mm -hmm. And it just yeah. seems like there's, and clearly this is coming from a bunch of lawyers who have convinced her to do this and it goes against everything she is claiming to stand for in terms of like wanting to take accountability to move on to protect her mental right. health and this is coming from a person raquel rachel we want to respect that she wants to be called rachel yeah just yeah. For, for for people who are still confused um, <laughs> we're still calling twitter twitter though yeah we are and yeah. we never will stop <laughs> we'll no, never stop not ever, ever. Fire. i don't know what actually went down uh with uh with rachel and sheena at the night I of, know. Uh, I know. But let's assume there was some kind of physical altercation. Yeah. My mm -hmm. point is, is that Rachel has shown a willingness to use the legal system for retaliation purposes because whatever happened between Sheena and Rachel then, clearly the filing of a restraining order, Rachel did not think she, like that her safety was cont at a continued risk from Sheena. Right. After Sheena did whatever she did yeah. in a moment of, shock and mm -hmm. rage mm -hmm. that was a uh, payback yeah, yeah for sure yeah. right yeah. yeah i think and then she dropped it yeah so clearly there wasn't a strong case there because like why do you do it and then drop it yeah. it was just she was making a statement so rachel's already proven to use the legal system for that's true revenge mm -hmm. or yeah. for payback so now you have this situation and also by the way ariana has publicly claimed to have not distributed this video to anyone other than rachel I, I, i'm i'm well I'm, they're including there they're counting that 
she sent it to herself, allegedly, and to Rachel. And then Rachel's heard, at least according, like, they word it obviously better in the lawsuit, but basically she heard that maybe she sent it other places. Sure. So she doesn't clearly see proof It seems unclear. It. And, and it's t- something that her lawyer said was Rachel believes that Tom has multiple recordings and Ariana has right. distributed multiple, not just this one in and, question. And, and, and this belief is based off of what? That was their statement. Hearsay? Yeah. It's got to be. Yeah, like, you see it. You see the phone. That Sandoval possesses multiple illicitly recorded videos that depict her in a state of undress and engaged in sex act. And that Maddox has obtained at least two of the videos and she then distributed or showed them to others without Levis's knowledge or consent. Well, I mean, if she goes through with this lawsuit, that can be proven. Yeah. yeah. Pretty so, easily. Yeah. Uh, pretty easily. Yeah. But as far as we know, there's no act. It's just assumptions on the part of Raquel. And I'm guessing these assumptions are coming from a bunch of people in her ear. Yes. Telling her what she should do. But I'm just thinking, again, just like, Rachel, like, again, this wasn't actually distributed in a way that like people who have been victims of revenge. Yeah. Porn, I mean, oh, my God, there's some terrifying and horrific yeah. stories of yeah. people who have been on the wrong side of that yes. and yes. had these videos distributed and like the, the the effect it's taken on their mental health. And to my knowledge, that doesn't seem that what's going on here. No one's ever seen this video. Thank God, because no. right. it's not our right to see it. Right. Right. And then just think about like, so. Ariana has claimed to have not sent it, but let's, for the sake of argument, say that maybe she did send it to a friend or two. Yeah. So it seems as though Ariana, so she finds out about Mm -hmm. this affair via the video. Mm -hmm. And for anyone who's never been cheated on, (laughs) I'm here to say when you find that out, it can be your lowest low. Your world truly crumbles down on you. Yep. Doesn't make criminal activity. I mean, people have been murdered. Yeah, yes. and people have found yeah. out. Yes. You know, and that's wrong to to be clear. Right, but just to just <laughs> to, 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 be clear. And, and to emphasize <laughs> what it can do to someone's world. Uh-huh. And Ariana finds out, sees this video, yeah, and sends it to what I can only assume is her support system. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I can't believe this happened. Yeah. someone's just like, Oh my God, are you serious? I, I don't believe it. Here's the video. Oh my God, I saw the video. And so here is Rachel whose actions played a significant role in destroying Ariana's reality. And in a moment of sheer like panic and her world crumbling down, maybe, maybe sends it to a couple friends. Uh, again, we can only assume it's her support system. And now Rachel is coming after her for that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, imagine the precedent this could send. You know, think about anyone ever having an affair. Yeah. Now all you have to do is make a sex tape with your adulterer and then conveniently let the person you're cheating on find that. And if they send it to anyone, including yourself, you yeah. then can go after them yeah. for revenge born purposes. It feels like entrapment. It feels like the people mm. who slam on their brakes in front of you and you <laughs> rear end them yeah. and then you are able to, su- it, it just reeks of that. Well, and, and it's especially, I mean, I, I still remember catching my boyfriend at the time cheating and like not like in the moment but like i saw emails sure. and the first thing i did was like i gotta take screenshots yeah because i need proof yeah. i gotta come right. with these receipts and this was like 2011 so this was before people were like really with evidence so it's like i <laughs> if i were in that scenario i wouldn't think twice about like i got it because it's like people delete shit all the time i don't trust anybody right especially tom sandoval and like i would take screenshots and like i don't know that i would necessarily I could see her sending it to Raquel and being like, what the fuck is this? Yep. Like, that seems normal to me. Yeah. And I think that you're she's co-opting something that's a legitimate thing that happens to usually women. And I don't think that that's right. Like, I don't think that that's fair to call that this yeah. that. But I do wonder if it's like they have played this kind of smart from the beginning, because I think it's almost like we have a breadcrumb of like legal action in the fact that like way back when when this was getting spread around suddenly Raquel's team is sending out you know like all of these legal paperwork to Lala and everybody else that was the whole send it to Daryl situation yeah. mm-hmm. so through that lawsuit does that not kind of indicate it was spread around the group and then even like a yeah. lot of this stuff for you know especially like the emotional or like mental health mm-hmm. ramifications that she's had a lot of the times like they're able to ask for proof of, you know, a psychological breakdown or treatment or something like that. What do we know about Raquel? She did like not one stint, but two in that yeah. like inpatient program. So it's like 
all of these things have been in the headlines. And now it's like we have all of the proof to kind of prove her yeah. case or at least make a case. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe make a case. I don't know. It seems weak because, again, it's all I mean, well, again, it's they can phone records if yeah. they can they can prove. But it just seems really icky to take advantage of someone's world collapsing on them and you being the one who did that and yeah. then to go back yeah. uh, and then try to further destroy their life it just seems a bit icky and again i the, the benefit of the doubt i'm giving rachel is that i just i think she's being taken advantage of by people around her yeah because rachel she doesn't seem like she i mean it's i, I want to know why are you doing this mm -hmm. it seems she like she needs money I, I guess well, that's she's not that on Vanderpump. Uh, tab Stay for the, the place. is there? Well, I mean, I know iHeart doesn't pay their people very well. No, uh, her uh, tab for the Meadows was two hundred k because she wanted Bravo to pay for it, and they refused. Oh, so maybe she has to do that. But it does seem like that's the motivation. You know, like well, not the lawsuit mentions, and Tom Sandoval also mentioned this about how everyone's capitalized on Scandoval, but him and yeah. Rachel, and it says something like that in the lawsuit. So it's very clear that everyone's pissed that Ariana's career boomed from this. Well, and she's and allowed to sue didn't. like for kind of any missed opportunities. So it's like she could argue, oh, I was getting these brand deals. And then the second that I didn't, I so she can sue yeah. on behalf of kind of those missed payments. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, we live in a country where anyone can sue anyone for anything. And mm -hmm. instead of taking accountability Thank and using this opportunity yeah. to better yourself and, and Rachel's only... In her late twenties, she's still very young. She could yeah. very much use this as a as a platform, as a launching pad for real change and positive change. Yeah. And everyone, everyone would give her. People are waiting for someone from Scandival to like be a better person yeah. from it. Yeah. Truly, mm -hmm. I mean, people would be lined up out the door if Rachel <laughs> really did the work to be a better person. But instead, she's just taking the bait. You know what it reminded me of? It was an episode of season ten. <laughs> On, on Vanderpump. Remember the scene where it was like the girls trip? Uh-huh. And, and they all kind of oh, yeah, got yeah, drunk. In Vegas. And I don't know if it was Vegas. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, it was. It was Tahoe and mm -hmm. Vegas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it was that where Rachel got drunk and she said to think Katie, she said to one of the ladies, maybe don't leave your man. Well, she said it to Lala. To, like, she's like, well, I guess. Yeah. She's like, I guess it's a good thing you don't have a man then. Which was like a really that was thing. terrible thing to say, a really bad look. She came across poorly. Yeah. And yes, Lala and the rest of the girls spent the rest of the night talking shit <laughs> about Rachel. Yeah. yeah. And I think as viewers, we all like are watching this episode and thought to ourselves, Rachel's going to wake up, feel mortified by her actions, come out and apologize for, you know, looking like she's a homewrecker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Instead, what did she do? Doubled down. She doubled down and she was like, you guys treated me poorly and blah, blah, blah. So like the willingness and ability. And again, does it come from Rachel or does it come from a producer being like, hey, you know what? They were talking shit about you all fucking <laughs> last night and blah, blah, blah. And they were saying X, Y, and Z. And I think that's yeah. pretty fucked up. Yeah. And I'm guessing that's what happened. Yeah. And so it just, I think it's really sad to see someone like Rachel. And Rachel, if you're listening, because I've heard you listen. I just, <laughs> I, I feel bad. I feel for her because I think she doesn't know any better. And I think she's being taken advantage of. And I, and I think now she has lawyers up her ear. Yeah. And I think they have a bunch of people saying, no, you're the victim. You're the real victim here yeah. when she's clearly not. And instead of launching a podcast about like overcoming this type of adversity, she, she is on Vanderpump via her podcast. Yeah. yeah. That's all yeah. it is. Yeah. You know? I did find it interesting, and Brooke, maybe you did as well, like with just the wording that her team, which also it's the same lawyers who were working with Bethany Frankel exactly. on investigating yeah. the reality TV. No, this has Bethany reckoning. written all over yeah. it. And well, Bethany yeah. has proven to be not give a shit about anyone else but herself. Yep. All while pretending to give a again. shit. But even their language, it's like they're literally crafting it so yeah. that we view her as the victim of the situation. It literally says, she was the victim of the predatory and dishonest behavior of an older, older man. man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then later on All said she was subje yep. subjected to a gag order prohibiting her from discussing Sandoval's gross invasion of her privacy implemented by the show's Bravo and Evolution Media. Like it's the the gag order, the older yeah. man. Like it's just the way they craft the statements yeah. is even just like, yeah. oh, very poor Raquel, poor Raquel. Yeah, and like again, this is not defending Tom Sandoval no. in any way, but clearly he has been 
the easy target for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. And anyone in, in Rachel's camp is just like, no, let's just shift to blame to Tom because it's very easy to do that. Yeah. And again, there's just no accountability on the part of Rachel, an adult woman who entered into a relationship on her own devices and her, you know, yeah. and, Thank you. and she is <laughs> like well, I think, and something else is interesting because, it, like, in this lawsuit, it very much, like you said, is like she was taken advantage of. She was a victim. He was telling her what to say. She was being coached, blah, blah, blah. But then she says in her interview with, I think, Bethany or somewhere, and she's like, if he would have asked to record, I would have said no. It's like, so are you a person that would have stood up for yourself and said no? Or are you someone who was being told what to do at every turn and being taken advantage of? How do Those we even two things know don't what line she up. would say or not say at this point? I think she's yeah. been coached. But I mean, the show's been on for 10 years. Yeah. How long has she been on the show? Let's say Longer than a year. Or, she yeah. season so five. She yeah. know, like, it's she one knows. of those things where it's like, yeah. at some point you have to take accountability. Like mm -hmm. you are, you're not 18. You are almost 30, almost 30. Yeah, almost like 30. you are responsible for what you do in these situations. And it's like, yeah, Tom Sandoval is an older man, but you're also not a child you're like you're an adult you are responsible and it just seems like it's i like just nobody on this show in general seems to love to take accountability for what they've done and this just seems to be another example of that well and it's also like in in a court of law criminally like you have to prove the intent and it's just like with the situation the circumstances as to like how ariana came about this video if anything, it says a lot to me that this video didn't get leaked. Yeah. That this video isn't out on Reddit threads because, or yeah, whatever. Because exactly. it would People be. would have been It would have been everywhere. It. Yeah. If it was everywhere. revenge, yes. Yes. then it would be everywhere. Yeah, you know? it would be. That's a good point. So it's just yeah. like, for me, I'm like, where's the actual, like, you taking responsibility? And then how did you get scorned yeah. in the process? Because yeah. I'm like, yes, you yeah. made a choice. Unfortunately, the man that you trusted recorded you against your will. By all means, do whatever you need yeah, to do come, there. Go for that. But then yeah. coming for Ariana in the sense of, oh, she found a video and maybe showed it to a couple of people. If we all haven't seen it. At her lowest low. At her lowest low. Yeah. And exactly. But I would that's the it. interesting part, too, because when you're suing for someone for intentional infliction of emotional distress, it has to meet certain categories. And one of the categories is reckless disregard. And a way to have reckless disregard is the defendant gives little or no thought to the probable effects of their conduct. So, literally so Ariana's her, team could say she just shot it off. She didn't even yeah. think, but that's like, but yeah, be so her, like Rachel's lawyers are literally saying, we don't give a fuck how, <laughs> how she took being cheated on or the affair right. or, or how the, far the distribution how, went. We don't care what mental state that Ariana was in when she discovered this. The fact that yeah. she was in this mental state yeah. proves that she was reckless with the content that she sent. Yeah. Like, and which sounds so fucking icky and against the spirit of what revenge porn yep. actually yeah. is. Yeah. And this is such a bad look for Rachel. And like, well, what's going to happen? I... Is this going to get settled? Is no, this going to go to court? They have Are their we first see this? hearing date set for July 7th. Well, that's, I mean, all these, lo when, anytime you have someone going <laughs> after some sort of celebrity with money, the goal is always to settle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the goal is that the, you know, the, the idea is the celebrity doesn't want this to continue to be in the public eye, in the press, and mm -hmm. that they will just pay for it to go away. That's why you, you do have a lot of innocent celebrities do, so, not always, but sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of bad ones too. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of bad sure. ones too. Uh, but the lawyers who are representing people like yeah. Rachel, that's, that's their end game. That's what they're counting is on. To, yeah. They're counting on people like Tom and Aria are willing to settle, even if it's for like 50 or $50,000 you know, $50, or a you hundred. Know. And what, is, what are they suing for? I heard, was it a, really a billion dollars? No, -uh. it's undisclosed, no. I thought. But maybe it is yeah, I didn't see an exact there was number there. Yeah. for the yeah. monetary. Oh. What if they're like, fine, you can have this house that we're trying to get rid of <laughs> if you just leave us alone. You can have that house. <laughs> it just seems so icky. Yeah. yeah it's, and I think people want to root for Rachel. Like, I feel like if she just yeah. chilled... It'd probably be okay. After Literally a while. two weeks ago, we're like, Rachel, come on this podcast. I wanted Rachel to come on this podcast and do the very thing Tom Sandoval couldn't to come right. on here and answer some mm. what I consider softball questions yeah. about like reflection <laughs> and growth yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and where are we now and how have you used this like terrible thing as yeah. like a platform for change and what yeah. do you want to do with it and blah, 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 blah. And like she, she had to do the bare minimum. To seem like a rock star, yeah. juxtaposed to like how Tom came across yeah. in this podcast, and Tom now I'm can. like, ew, yuck! Don't don't even bother. <laughs> we know where you stand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that is someone who's like just wants to be the victim. Yep. Yeah. yeah. 
it's tough. Zero accountability on both ends. I will say to that note, though, I'm like, I've been watching this season of Vanderpump and same. I'm like, nice segue. I feel like I'm <laughs> siding with Tom. And I'm like, I'm such a sap for productions, like for them, because it's like, it's like, guys, just give him a break. Here, he made know, a mistake. You're not wrong. Here's where I, I'm curious what you, here's when it comes to, it sounds like you've also been cheated on. Yes. Yes, I have too. Um, so fun. Here, here's the thing. We love um, relating on that note. <laughs> There's this, thing, there's this thing that people do when s their friend is a part of an infidelity or cheated on or people love to make someone else's pain about them. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They yeah. love to co-op yeah. someone else's yeah. pain and figure out how to be like, well, how was I victimized? How did this affect me? <laughs> Classic Sheena. It's like, they'll never understand how this affects me. I know. But like, I know. when it comes in this particular episode, I was very much like Team Tom in that sense, yeah. where it's just like Tom doesn't have to answer to any of these fucks. That's like uh, yes, yeah. like he cheated on Ariana. He has to answer to her. They, like all these people acting like they all have a one on one to have with Tom. Be like, so how are you going to make amends with me? Yes, it's like huh? that's what I'm like. Uh, Chill out. It's like a weird, like high school mentality of a group, knowing that all of these people are in their thirties and forties. But yes. it's like the like, well, you broke up our friend group, so now you must repent. And it's like y'all can't have separate friends outside of each other. Yeah. Like you can't decide how you feel about this individual. It has to be a collective. We agree or yeah. we disagree on this person. Like it, yeah. it, it, it's it's kind of bizarre. That's it why is I very can't bizarre. wait for next week because we saw the teaser of Sheena being like, I can't hate Tom for you forever. To Ariana, so I'm like, okay. it better be good. Let's get Let's into it. it. She never really can't get out of her own way. <laughs> she, ever. Well, it's all happening. I do Is she the one whose baby got blocked? Yeah. What? Yeah. Her baby got blocked, blocked by, by Sandoval. Tom's. Tom, yeah. He blocked. Remember, she was like, how do you Summer block Moon? Summer Moon? And I'm just like, I, I, mean, I who missed cares? that. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah. Who cares who your baby is being followed by? That's so ridiculous to me. Or not followed he by. He was probably I, like, she can look at my profile from this one. So I'm going to. Block I will. I will too. say they're they're Brock and Sheena's uh, being a new father. Yeah, mm -hmm. very relatable like uh, yeah. conversation between a oh, young couple. Yeah. You know, I can see. Yeah. I I definitely see Sheena's side of that. Like I, as a super anxious person, I'd be like, I can't, I can't leave this child. Well, we uh, we just had our daughter River. Nally's mom has been with us literally from the beginning. I'm. We're very blessed. Yeah. Both yeah. Nally and I are very blessed in the in-law department. Both yeah. of our parents are just like they're not there to parent. They're there to be grandparents, and good. they're not, nice. they don't they're, they don't share opinions that are not asked. Love that. Good, we're, just, good. we're so lucky. And Nally's yeah. mom is just a gift. We're so yeah. grateful to have her. But like as Brock pointed out, it's just like your mom's here every day. You know, like know. That, you know. <laughs> so there's a there I, there's an element to that. And yeah. again, we think it's been a joy having Nally's mom here. We've gotten her on on dating apps. It's been fun. Oh, you know, she's out there dating. She's on the league. You know, and we're, I'm like coaching her up because she just got out of a a little of a bad relationship. Is she on Raya? No, because no. they still won't accept me, and they accepted somebody. And I'm like, I have an actual podcast. You don't want. Uh, you don't want. So be does on everyone. Raya. I now are, just want to be on it just to be okay. on it. You don't. Yeah. I'm so sick of all these idiots getting on that are nobody. Well, you're still getting to mention it. So at least there, there you, go. you go. Yeah, this this better be <laughs> it's it. It's still working out but, for you. But to your point, Brooke, I understand. I empathize with the, you know, it's like, I don't want anyone else, like some stranger. Yeah. 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 It, so, I was like that with my dog, yeah. let alone yeah. something that came out of my body. I empathize yeah. with Sheena's plight. I when Every time Sheena, and that being said, every time Brock and Sheena do a, a scene, and listen, I get it. These are TV makers. <laughs> yeah. You know, we mentioned last week that we get with the, the Beverly Hills Housewives, especially with the kids, like as someone who has been a part of creating reality TV. And I do think The Bachelor is the most authentic show in terms of like what is our real conversations. Like <sighs> every Nick. time I see Brock and Sheena like have a dispute, I'm convinced that when the camera stopped, they high five. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, great scene excellent job really be in it like i just it seems like like tom sandoval love him or hate him that's tom sandoval yeah that man is not True. acting he's that consistently man is giving he is. his life yeah. to the screens yeah. and i it, i can't help but feel like brock and sheena are rehearsing their yeah. scenes <laughs> well especially you say that, i don't know i can see it like, yeah in in regard like when you juxtapose what's the word i'm looking for the juxtaposition of Scandoval and then Brock and Sheena arguing over a nanny is like, who cares? I, love it. I you don't know? know. Like I, I'm, I. That's when I check out. I'm like, this isn't good enough drama for me. Like the bar <laughs> is more. too high. That's no, it really I know. is because like we're, we're talking 
revenge porn and lawsuits. <laughs> and we got Ariana suing Tom for, there's lawsuits on lawsuits. I mean, that's, that's what's been like, it's, I mean, it's terrible for Bravo and all this other, but like just the zeitgeist the of the show isn't just the show. Yeah. It's everything. It's the podcast. It's, it's, <laughs> it's so. Everyone's got like, a podcast. Vanderpump is such a. It's 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 the greatest reality TV show maybe of all time because of the generosity of its characters True. and and the and the botchery of its characters and like Bravo just all these lawsuits to me like I mean who knows like I do think reality TV has casted some really good people some high character yeah. solid mm. people and then they also cast truly deplorable <laughs> humans mm -hmm. yeah yeah they yeah it's a mixed bag yeah it absolutely is. just like the world and it feels like uh, most of the lawsuits are coming from the the latter <laughs> uh, of the people who, you know, and, and no surprise. I think the people who are the most deplorable, the least likely to take accountability. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That, that checks you know? out. Mm. Yeah. Um, and, and now you have this whole like reality reckoning and, and, and it's all gone nowhere. And like it, the, the messiest Bravo characters are the ones who seem to be ones taking legal action against Bravo. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's just. Ugh. I also but feel it, like Bravo, it's also great. To, it's just. It's that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like these lawsuits almost help make Bravo more interesting, yes, and they, they probably 100%. love it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Their goal is to keep their name in our mouths, Truly. and it's, and they're doing a great every job. Every day. <laughs> yeah. Every day. They're crushing it. Well, and that's yeah. what I also love when you talk about people, the deplorable a aspect of it. But I'm like, I love like going back and then watching these people who are now coming forward, being like, I was taken advantage of. I was, and yeah. it's like, no. Nobody mm. told you to get drunk, take your clothes off, and throw a tiki torch in the pool, but you did. And you then know? ask the producers, did we get it? Yeah, did we get it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then go on an interview saying, I wasn't coerced. And then two years later, you talk to Bethany and you're like, I would never have. And it's like, why? Why yeah, are we now all of a sudden right. causing an issue where there's not? I was also going to say, I do think it's the doth protest too much, where it's like the people that kind of claim that they have their stuff together. And then it's like when things don't work out their way, it's like, whoa, the other head is turned. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And that's for me, that's this great... this week's episode of Summer House. Oh, Ooh. Did you, did you watch? watch? Yes. yes. Watched. <laughs> Lindsay and Carl, like we've been throwing Carl I to, know. to the dogs. I wasn't. We, we had Lindsay for on a year. this very show. I know. And obviously, you know, we... We would we're, we're gonna hear Lindsay out, and Lindsay yeah. went on a little bit of a PR tour before yep. uh, her season came on. Mm -hmm. uh, I she don't was know if, trying to get the Ariana treatment uh, for sure. I was gonna say she's also yes. an ex PR girly, yes. so I'm like she was like mm, get ahead. I of think the her story. email still has PR in it. Yeah, um, <laughs> Clubhouse. I think she still has. Yeah. No, well, well, that is that is an excellent point. Um, I think there have been a handful of Bravo celebrities who have tried to create their own scandal. Oh yeah, uh, Kyle. I think uh, we're trying to create one, and we're not even on Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm yeah. sure Lindsay, I think, is definitely one. I uh, think a little Taylor uh, Shep Austin. I think, a, I think a, well, Olivia. Mm. I think Olivia, Olivia sorry. with the Taylor and Shep and Austin of it all mm -hmm. was hoping to have yeah. a little bit of Scandal sympathy. It just goes to show these things have to happen organically. You can't oh, create yeah. a Scandal on your own. It can't be manufactured, which speaks to all the accusations and all the conspiracy theorists mm -hmm. of was Scandaval the creation the of producers yeah. and yeah. there's just no way no they could do that. I Arisha skeptical I still. think that I think the actual <laughs> act wasn't produced by the producers, but I think everything that happened once it came out was it has what, been what specific? Well just like I feel like I my my conspiracy theory is that Ariana saw the video and the, she might have sent it to the producers and been like, I'm uncovering this. How does how do we play this out? Like, that's like, I don't think that they were like, Tom, go cheat, sleep with Rachel. Okay. Well, she's also that's what I mean. I mean, like, is that is that possible in the way the reality TV world works? Yeah. Could I for sure? Yeah. Where there are meetings and conversations after Scandaval was uh, uncovered in terms of how do we film this? Sure, sure, sure. Of course, they're making yeah. a TV yeah. show. I just mean the. the conspiracy theories that this from the jump they were like right. that once to, yeah. like producers were observing Tom and Rachel and they caught wind of the affair before the affair got uncovered and this was all some sort of perfectly crafted master plan to have Scandal become a nationwide if not a worldwide sensation that has really I mean it's like it's still like I thought 
few months ago, I was just like, I don't know, maybe it's just not worth having Tom on the show. <laughs> like we talked about it so much. And yeah, yeah. And for him to come on with 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 Schwartz and have it just like almost like read like we are like I feel like Scandival has never been more talked about and relevant now with all these lawsuits and the fact that Vanderpump is back on and it's yeah. I can't like it's like this season of Vanderpump on its face is not isn't it's not, not that interesting but it is <laughs> it is but it's and like yet nothing. every week I am just like fucking cannot wait to turn it off <laughs> yeah. I cannot wait well to yeah turn I'm like what's Vanderpump. okay when are we getting to the nitty gritty right well. You know, one of the not to go back to the lawsuit, but one of the things she's alleging is that Ariana knew about it and encouraged mm -hmm. it because Vanderpump was gonna was doing terribly, them. and she was in danger of being fired. That is and I was like, "There's no way." That is one hundred percent coming from someone else who's planting that idea, of course, in Rachel's mind without question. Well, and Ariana also did say, like, because of her relationship with Sandoval and whatnot, that the second that she found it, she did send it to producers because she was like, "I don't want this man to be able to talk to, to me out of it." Yeah. So it's like narrative. once right. it's been committed to and production has to pick back up cameras, it's like, no, we're going through with this because the truth is already out there. Yeah. So I'm like with that, like, I don't know. I respect it. I think it's a bit of a if you need to get out of a, a situation and you know that this person has a hold on you, like mm -hmm. by all means, bring other people in. So I'm like, is that revenge? Which is why I think Carl had his breakup with Lindsay on camera because I think it was the same thing. We saw Lindsay go on a whole PR tour. He knows her well. Babe, I lost my mind. I lost my mind. And it was the <laughs> it was the doubling down the next morning. Yeah. For the people who Sir? don't know what we're talking about, okay. uh, Lindsay and Carl were engaged. Yeah. Lindsay came on the show and very much, you know, we appreciate her generosity and mm -hmm. her telling her side of the story. And again, from our, when listening to Lindsay, it was, it was like, yeah, like, I mean, there's, there's making reality TV and then there's like your life. Mm -hmm. And, and, and Lindsay's big thing is how can you break up with me without any heads up on camera and take advantage of the thing that's most sincere to my heart, like our relationship. And yeah, on its face, it sounds like pretty fucked up. Yeah. Meanwhile, while that was all going on, every one of her castmates seemed to be a united front being like, just wait, just wait just watch yeah you know and so we and so here we are and, and yeah. i watched you just waited you just episode watched. two episode two like we From we usually count. have yeah. to like kind of get a little lead in we're like four episodes in. And we're like all right finally we get, get to, to the, the nitty-gritty yep, yep, yeah yep, yep. no they were like hi episode two minute like she could <laughs> it was her first weekend in the hamptons and she couldn't keep it in the box uh -huh. like that was wild and then to go on she accused him of he's been sober for two years she accused him of well they seem to get in a bit of a spat usage yeah that we don't mm -hmm. see that yeah. we don't see they're fighting as couples sometimes too. <laughs> yeah. Is yep. Bravo like dropping the ball a little bit? Like on just like where I'm like, you you don't have cameras in the like, car. Why don't we see that? Why yeah. didn't we see <laughs> this? I mean, you can't know better like by now never, too. This is I mean, they're in a relationship. This isn't the Truman show. They yeah. didn't they didn't agree to have their entire lives film from you know, the moment they wake up to the time they go to bed. So like yeah. But I could refute that because in Summer House they have cameras in the corner of every room. So True. you are literally being filmed from the second you wake up because all you're committing to when is a weekend. In, when you're in the house. But on below deck, yeah. also a Bravo show, we see them in the car all the time going to and yeah. from the boat in the Either bar. Way, it would be nice, but they didn't have it. But so, we don't have or, it. Or they didn't show it. I don't know. Either way, yeah, should either we way. Sue? somewhere? Should we sue? for the footage. Yeah. 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 I'm emotionally distraught. Because we didn't get to see it. Yeah. yeah. That sucks. Yeah. You know? We are victims. Um, they had a reckless disregard for how Brooke was going to feel. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I need some brand. And when Brooke's be the upset, headline. we're all upset. Yeah. Because yep. uh, she makes her pain our pain. Exactly. Uh, she does. <laughs> and then Lindsay appears to gaslight the shit out of Carl mm -hmm. and uses his sobriety or more uses his addiction mm -hmm. uh, against him and mm -hmm. accuses him of being cocaine Carl. Yeah. While she's been drinking all day, mm -hmm. mind you. Yeah, right. So I'm like, your judgment is not clear right now. And so while Carl is out with the boys, Lindsay is on a campaign tour with her friends on camera. Mm hmm emphasis on camera mm -hmm. accusing yeah. her fiance of relapsing and doing hard drugs mm -hmm. all because she doesn't like how he reacted in a fight i'm yep. assuming yep. yeah yeah and then she calls up carl and carl could not have sounded more sober <laughs> i know <He> could, <laughs> which i'm glad gabby was like that sounds like a sober man yeah. to me yeah. like, he sounded like the designated dd who was just like really Taking care of his boys yeah. all night long and like just being like, hey guys, you know, I'm the sober guy. So I guess, yeah, we're almost home, babe. 
could not have been more calm. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know much about cocaine. It's my understanding it's, that you're not calm coming up nope. on it. Yeah. No, nope. I've been talking so much about how we couldn't do cocaine because we'd die. Like, it's too, you're not, you would never be that calm. Like, I think yeah. he would be years. talking a mile a minute. Yeah. He wouldn't be answering his phone because he's partying. Yeah. Like, well, and she kept saying, well, now he's sober. Well, now, As like, like, it, just it, it wore off. off. So now. Well, you oh, go is like that how that works over. with cocaine? Yeah. Yeah. No. Do you sound you like. You snap your fingers and then yeah. you're, you're sober again. Do you sound so, healthy and normal and like in a good headspace? It's like, ask and, like, that to yeah. anybody who's gotten a cocaine charge. Like, why yeah. didn't you just snap your fingers and say it's over? <laughs> Has Lindsay come out and made any statements regarding episode two? She posted on her story. She posted on her story. Yeah. Uh, what did she post? She pretty much doubled down. Go ahead, Justin. Let me... I'm sorry. Back to you, Justin, in the studio. Feel free to keep talking while I pull it up. No, we're gonna watch. You I do think it it's bullshit, though. Like, I don't love like addiction stuff. Just really pisses me off. And I know that all these shows love to exploit it in their own way. But just to like for somebody that you are engaged to, presumably you have a deep love for. Yes. You don't just get engaged to anybody. I don't think Nick. Right. Well, I mean. Oh. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Not anymore. But like, yeah. but like, it's like this is your fiance. Like, yes. I would, I would hope you have just such a love and compassion when you struggle with addiction because that's such a serious thing for her to just flippantly be like, "He's off she the sauce." Is, and they also she were on is the sauce. backtracking a bit. So yeah. her post okay. said, "After watching back this week's episode, I wish I had used better wording. I was emotional and hurt by what had transpired earlier in the night, and what I said was meant to be a private conversation at home with one of my best girlfriends." I have never questioned his sobriety mm. before this moment. And from day one, I was his biggest supporter. I've always been transparent on the show about my feelings and I've leaned on my friends for support. And that was my only intention here. Okay. Like, Lindsay, love you as a character. Loved having you on the show. <laughs> but like you're you are not stupid. No. Yeah. Uh, you're yeah. not naive. Yeah. Um, you knew you were on camera. For a PR girly, that was like not that's not the response. Now you're sounding like Riley, Tom Sandoval's publicist. <laughs> Genuinely. Like, and we know you're not that. <laughs> Well, we, and the, the funny thing, Riley. too, is that I loved Amanda uh, the night before where she was like, I, I took notes because I yeah. just felt like this was something I needed to remember. Because they means, all know they're who they're dealing with. Yeah. yeah. So she sits yeah. there and goes, I was trying to have a private conversation with my friend in, the, in our home. And it's like, no, babe, you got to the bar, made sure everybody yeah. knew that you were upset with Carl, then got in the Uber and then filmed your conversation over and over again, knowing you're being filmed yeah. on a TV show for this weekend. If you didn't want to talk about it, you didn't have to. I would have yeah. broken up with her right then and there and in I an know. instant and like poor carl like i can't believe i'm being like poor carl while i was over here like this guy called up production to break no. up with her and now i'm like oh my god this man like literally is trying to reason with her and it's like i'm just gonna go on a run if you could just leave me alone yeah. and she's and still he's gotta worry about his his fiance at any moment accusing him of falling off the yeah. wagon on national television when she doesn't get her way in a fight it's awful <gasps> Have you like, guys like are, do you, have you guys watched Summer House for a long time? Or yes. are you like newer viewers? No, I'm new. Okay, all the way. Because I feel like yeah, anybody no, Ciara, who's seen Sierra is like an encyclopedia of Bravo. I'm a Bravo girl. Yes. Like I feel like anybody who's watched it knows that that's how Lindsay is in relationships, and that's why when this whole thing came out, I was like, I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt, mm -hmm. but I don't buy that she was a victim in this. So that's why I'm like, I feel a little vindicated so, after I'm, episode I'm, two. I'm learning on the fly. Like, <laughs> I'm kind of, you know, I've known, I, I like to give my fellow uh, str uh, strategic people the uh -huh. benefit of the doubt. I like to think of myself as a critical thinker, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, just in life and in general. I think that's, that's a good thing to be. Yeah, sure. I think people can use their critical thinking, like anything, you can weaponize anything. You yeah. can abuse yeah. anything, yeah. you know? And I think in reality TV, generally speaking, being a critical thinker is seen as a negative. You're some sort of villain because, you know, yes, a yeah. lot of people on reality TV are kind of like, eh, eh, like you know, <laughs> yeah, just like, that. Like, eh, like, what's going on? Yeah. And like the critical thinker is like, oh, I'm the master plan, you know, but like, I yeah. just don't think of being a critical thinker it immediately means that you're up to no good. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I wanted to give <laughs> Lindsay the benefit of the doubt and kind of watching this unfold, like not having the benefit of of knowing uh, Lindsay Hubbard's past uh, behaviors. It's been fascinating to watch this <laughs> and, yeah. and, and to feel wronged by giving her said benefit of the doubt, yeah. uh, knowing that th this was a lot. This, th this how, I don't know how you recover. We're only on episode, episode two, two, which yeah. is just wild to me. As I said, I was like, never could I have ever thought. Mm -hmm. And especially because in episode one, there was a conversation between Gabby, Carl, and Lindsay mm -hmm. where I was just like, oh, where Gabby goes, 
we were just having the we're best having so time. Much fun. We just we don't even know who's missing because then she's like, well, obviously we are. And it's just like you come in and <laughs> yeah. shift the entire dynamic of this peaceful house. And all you have to do is just be nice to your fiance. And yeah. then it's like you could deal with this all through Monday through Thursday. But no, you literally came in and were like, <laughs> yep. he's cooking Carl. Nobody like and it's just like, honey, <laughs> come come it down. But I'm, I'm surprised though. Like you would have thought, and well, to your point, it's only episode two. Yeah. So <laughs> And we what, know the ending. And we know the end. <laughs> and being that it's only episode two, if this was Lindsay, I guess, seemed to be completely unaware. Or forgetting that she did this. Yeah, it's giving PR spin of it's easy to say that well, I was blindsided. It's giving reactive, mm -hmm. you're not proactive. Yes. Lindsay yes. coming on the show was proactive, proactive yeah. right? Yeah. In the vein of being proactive against thinking about all the fucking shit I did that I have to like make sure I have to account for and put a spin on it. She didn't come on here and and cover that basis. No, which means she t which tells me it was just she forgot about it or didn't think of it or wasn't aware of it. Because she could have come on here she and be like, forget. there's a scene she where didn't. I just like, you know, <laughs> she didn't come on here and go like, yeah, listen, I've did some shit. And there was a time, I'm, you know, early on where I was just like, I kind of maybe like lost sight of him and maybe like lost Carl's trust because I questioned his sobriety. She didn't do that. She could have got ahead of yeah. it then, but she didn't. Nope. Which means that she doesn't realize maybe just how deep her actions go, which yeah. means that maybe this there could be a lot more of this this season. Well, well is it possible she couldn't say it? No, the, the, I don't think Lindsay was playing by the rules when she went okay. on her own PR tour. Yeah. I think she was. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it's even the her her little follow up message where it's like I used the wrong words, and I'm like, what words yeah, would what you words have you said? Used? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you're not yourself, Carl. Like, you know what I mean? Where I'm just like, no, you you, you said what you she said. She meant to say raging coquette. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. that's what it's given. Classic misspeak. You yeah. know, isn't it Lindsay's like reputation to be activated? Yeah, and that's yes. her thing on the yeah. show. But now yeah. she's yeah. activating exactly. herself at every <laughs> single point. Yeah. A thousand percent yeah. yeah it's just mm. you know it's unfortunate so that's where i'm like i i feel bad because i'm like we never know the full story when we only get one side of the story and then it's like seeing right. this play out where i'm like also like carl are you on a gag order like he mm. said nothing it's like he almost knew he was like no just wait till the season comes out well, that poor man getting booed at bravo con you just know? like sitting through it had to like, take that heat yeah i tell you what though but if us. you know if you know at the end of the day it's all about the finish and reality yeah. TV. It is always about the finish. Yeah. I try to remind people when they're going through it. I'm like, what? How, how does it end? Because it is all that matters. The lasting impression. Honestly, Carl probably knew the whole time, you know, just wait. Because yeah. fans react the most to feeling misled mm -hmm. and lied to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so whatever uh, loyalties any fans had towards Lindsay, mm -hmm. if any of them feel misled by Lindsay. Yeah. The wrath of the fan will be strong. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think Carl will be just fine. Carl will yeah. be just fine if it plays out. If it's if it continues on this trajectory, I I just think that the yes. the debunked lie here was that, unbeknownst to herself, her engagement ended. Where I'm yeah. like us watching from the outside perspective, where it's just like Carl's just taking it. Well, <laughs> you're assuming that Lindsay is aware of how she acts in relationships. I would say that if I had seven seasons of myself in three different relationships and they all didn't work out, I feel like it's a really great like base level to start where I'm like, Do, is there something about me that I don't know about myself? And she's seen it all. You're confusing <laughs> your healthy mental <laughs> state and okay. self-awareness yeah. with like the world is full of people who have on their 19th bad relationship who have made no changes and are questioning why they're why they yeah. can't find any. But they don't yeah. have it filmed. But like, even if they have it filmed, I feel like there yeah. are certain people that can watch it and be like, I can't believe that this happened. Like, right. versus being yeah. like, oh, wait, Abductive. the common denominator is me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's like, oh, production filmed it this way. That's not accurate. I'm going to take my gold star of being a little too healthy and I'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe Lindsay doesn't watch it. I mean, that's fair too. That's Jax didn't watch a lot, a lot of, people a lot of the watch. seasons. Oh, I forgot yeah. about I thought we were going to get right over that. Jax, oh, yeah, Jax, Jax Taylor, Brittany. and Brittany are. Separation. Oh, yeah. Real or staged? I think that's the only real question here. I mean, it does. The Did timing I, is, you know, because the valley's coming out or whatever. Respect. But also knowing Jax, it's like, this seems likely. He is a know? horrible person. I he think is terrible. Real. Have you met him? I have. Yeah. Once. And that was uh, enough. <laughs> well, it's kind of funny because uh, it's he's the only person I turned down for a photo. <laughs> really? Like in the world? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, there was Damn. one other time I turned someone down for the photo. Both during my season of The Bachelor. The other time, it was the very first Women's March in L.A. post-2016 oh, election. 
Um, All those pussy hats. And I really wanted to go in solidarity and mm-hmm. support. I was the current bachelor there, and I really was uncomfortable and had to get like <laughs> approvals from the the, the producers because it's like it was yeah. obviously a very polarizing. I yes. wanted to go. I'm like, I'm gonna go, and they were just like, yeah, just keep a low profile. I just didn't want to make the women's march about sure, me. You. Um, sure, yeah. And then the and like that was the heat of being the bachelor. You take one picture, and then all of a sudden, everyone's like, it's like, oh, this the guy's just yeah. So that was one time I was just politely like, hey guys, sorry, I'm just like just here to support today. Yeah. And then there was Jax Taylor. <laughs> That's um, wild. Also at the women's march. Oh, not kidding. at the women's march. No, it was at a nightclub. It was him and Brittany, and they were very nice. Uh, Brit- and Brittany asked for a picture. I took a picture with Brittany. <laughs> Jax asked for one. I was like, no. And he got really mad. I'm, and That's all I, all I knew about Jax Taylor at that point was, <laughs> you know, he's he is what now what we now think of as Tom Sandoval. And mm-hmm. I'm thinking, I'm not going to be in a picture with Jax yeah. Taylor as the current bachelor while people are wondering, is Nick engaged? Is he not engaged? I'm like, nah. Uh, he subsequently blocked me. Uh, and <laughs> oh my God. Um, it's like Summer Rose move right there. It's, it's, but blocked by Jax. It's blocked, not a blocked by Jax. <laughs> Summer Moon. Um, Summer Moon. Anyway, You're mixing he, his daughter's I name up. I am mixing these two children's <laughs> names up. We are, we are watching uh, Vanderpump going back around in season three for all you Wi-Fi Plus people Ooh, out there yeah. if you want to recap with us uh, via files.com. But I'm reminded just how truly despicable and horrible Jax Taylor is as a human. Yeah. And this is not like, oh, the edit or whatever. Like this yeah. is a man who's truly willing to victimize people yeah uh with reckless abandon yeah for the sake of his own attention and fame and use that for tv uh-huh. and i'm just what like yeah well that's like when he was on house of villains and he's like britney had a stroke and then she's like no i didn't <laughs> It's like, well, dude, what are you talking Why about? Would you even no, he's say he's that? doing that right now too with the separation. He's yeah. going around being like, "We're still together," and she's yeah. like, "No, we're, we're like actually living in two separate homes." Right. But then she, they both are doing these like these Vanderpump personalities who like apparently have TMZ on speed. Dial. I know. Yeah. I know. I've never it's seen like, anybody have so me? long of an interview. Like it's like Tom Sandoval outside of his when uh, Scandoval happened, and it was like him packing up like luggage or yeah. drums and or whatever. Rachel just outside car- of the well, nail salon. It's like and twenty minute long like, interview. Like, well, <laughs> <laughs> but then the, and then Brittany had the TMZ one, and then like the the guy knew to plug her podcast, yep. their new show. <laughs> yep. You know, it's just like okay, maybe it's I I, I hate to doubt you, Brittany. Right, I know. Guilty by association. I mean, Brittany's also enabled Jax's bullshit for so long. So it's like, can we really have that thought about her, you know? Going back to like what season six, where it was like the faith and sleeping with somebody in hospice, like having an old lady in hospice in the room. Like, it's like, yeah. When oh my he God, makes yeah. judgment calls like that and you're still like, I can forgive you, it's like, well, you know, you get what At you pay point, for. Yeah. So, 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 like, to recap, Brittany. Uh, is, is her reaction? She is said she needs to protect her and her daughter, do- her and her son, son, her son's yeah. like mental health. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. that's a very serious Important. thing to yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like she's updated her IG bio to yeah. change her last name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, she's moved out. Mm-hmm. Yep. But according to the interview she did with TMZ, don't worry. They'll still do their podcast together. Yeah, the thing we were all worried about, <laughs> right? I, yeah. I was, I couldn't sleep last night. I know. <laughs> I'm just grateful. Oh, no, 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 don't worry. The show will go on. Brittany uh, lets <sighs> like, us know. Uh, that her and Jax will still be doing their podcast <laughs> because they are professionals. <laughs> to which some of us were like, oh, you guys have a podcast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't a soundbite on Vanderpump up there, so I didn't know they had Not one. Not yet. No. So, Everyone else's is. is mm. it'll, they'll but be you know what? Valley. Congratulations. We'll we'll give it a watch, The Valley. Yeah. Um, when does that drop? I think so. I mean, I think they, they did it. I think it's the 22nd or something, but I, I think they've yeah. actually accomplished what we would think or like they've accomplished the the unknown because at the end of the day, most people when it came out, I think we even talked about it. We're like, eh, probably yeah. not going to watch that. Yeah. Now I'm like, I guess I will. March 19th. Yeah. I'm tuning in. March, March 19th. 19th. Yeah, it's yeah. coming up. Okay. Maybe the producers plotted this whole thing too. I'm also like, Jax knows how to make good TV. You can say whatever you want about him. He is not a he great does. person, it's but true. he is the reason why the views for Vanderpump Rules did what they did with him and Stassi, with him mm-hmm. and Kristen, with him and Brittany. Like I'm like. He, he's an awful person, but he knows how to make reality television. That is, that is true. But as long as, you know, like when it comes to like Bachelor characters or Love is Blind characters, like we don't know if they're good or bad people. These are highly edited right. shows and, and, and yeah. very much con- controlled atmospheres. And we villainize people like, uh, nice segue, by the way, Nick, for, oh, no, we're not, even, we're not there yet. We still have Housewives. We still have Housewives to get to. I'm getting ahead of myself. But like, they I like make, you they make villains 
out of nothing when it comes to Bachelor and Love is Blind. You know, yes. Yes. like yes. we have a bit like, but when it comes to the Bravo world and Vanderpump, that we're, it's clear. It's in some cases illegal activity. Yeah. Uh, and in other cases, <laughs> in it is cases. just again, well, some of the worst things you can do to another human. Mm -hmm. It's being done for the sake of television. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, it is it is riveting television. As you yeah. say, and, and Bravo, I love you. Um, but like they reward bad behavior. Let's be honest. It's like we have the whole yeah. like Erica Jane thing, and then now she's got her own yeah, uh, special segue. coming out. Yeah. Uh, she's got her own special coming out. So it's also like this. We're sitting here being like, nope, nope, you're a villain, nope. And now it's like, hey, how many times can we watch you tell your story in on different well, it's platforms? Like, you know, in 2020, when everyone was getting fired, for, you know, in the name of activism, and then they just give them a show a couple years later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like. You guys didn't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know you didn't PRPC. Yeah. PCPR. Uh, yeah. Better yeah. Hills re re reunion part one. I hate the three part reunion because that's just a signal of what we don't have to watch. Part mm -hmm. one is always like, okay, uh, right. I know. Yeah. The, yeah, we save the best all stuff. The, all the forced conversations. Yeah. So there's not a ton to talk about other than Dorit. Well, I have a mixed feelings <laughs> on Dorit. I do feel like she is, is the punching bag for this season uh, for a lot of, I think, forced storylines yeah. a bit. That being said, um, well, I have been critical. And I, I, again, I am not a fashionista. I don't, <laughs> I am wearing cowboy boots the first time. What do you think, Justin? Justin is. Natalie and I stand by it. I love her outfit. I think it's a power move. She came in in red. She has this like Mother uh, Teresa like facade. Yes. Mm. Is it doing too Fine. much? It's very much, of course, doing, too much. It doing too much. Fine, but that's not really my point. He wants to know about his boots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not talking about Dorit. Yeah. Those are better. Oh, we're talking about the boots. No, yeah. my, no Nick's how, boots. I'm wearing combat boots. Those are a power move. Like, That's an actual power move. I think <laughs> I, I'm wearing it for the first time. I think it's like, I'll... shut up about what we're I talking don't. about. Justin is our uh, unofficial uh, fashionista. I try. Other than Natalie. Well, because he wears sweater vests with nothing underneath and pulls it off. <gasps> Looks oh good doing it. My little skinny and muscles. If, if you yeah. can be, He's a model. If you can do that, you, you know. Yeah. He has a vi That's my point. When Justin gets dressed in the morning... <laughs> He gets dressed with purpose. There's a okay. vision. There's an inspiration. Yeah, and if you that. ask Justin where his inspiration comes from, he doesn't just say fashion, <laughs> fashion, fashion. Oh, and my criticism of Dorit when it comes to uh, her, her persona as a guy who doesn't claim to be an expert in fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, but nevertheless, I don't think you get to just buy expensive shit and then uh, self identify yourself as some sort of fashion icon. Yeah. yeah. And then when Andy asked Dorit, like, where, where are you pulling this inspiration from? <laughs> what were you going for? And she goes, fashion, fashion, fashion. To yeah. me, that is someone dressed her uh -huh. yep. yeah. who yeah. had taste. Mm -hmm. And they said, wear this. And Dorit said, okay. Yeah. And she put it on. And she is, uh, I mean, uh, to me, it's just like she's copy, you know, it's like uh, what uh, plagiarizing some, her yeah. stylist. Dorit is plagiarizing her stylist. The stylist told her, say fashion, fashion, fashion. fashion no, you're she clearly it. had no idea it what she was I doing. don't have a good answer. <laughs> I don't. I, I, it's, and I'm going to say this. Fashion, fashion, fashion. To I, me, that was her biggest crime all season. I don't even know if she knew like who the designer was because the label wasn't all over the I was going to say, she's doing cleanup because yeah. she got called out, called out for wearing just like label and label and label. And now yeah. it's nothing. Now it's nothing. Yeah. So now she doesn't know now what Now she doesn't know what she's wearing. She's like, I can't read it. It's, it's not on fashion. Me. It's fashion. I came around to that Versace confessional look, though. After a while, I liked it. At first, I was like, "Huh," and then I'm like, "No, what? I think I like it." You like that very long like... enough. You get used to it. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <It's> like Stockholm. <laughs> I was Stockholm syndrome into loving that outfit. Yeah, <laughs> um... but like the reaction of the other women too, you could just tell like this was a miss. Because any other time, they're just sucking each other's assholes when they come into a room. They're like, "Oh my god, oh you look gorgeous!" But she walked <laughs> Never in, they were seen like, "You in a dress before?" Well, I yeah. It took too long. Chris yeah, Crystal did an interview and she said that they all got there at like 8.15 or something and that Dorit wasn't ready till like 10 o'clock. And so she was getting sewed so into her outfit and whatnot where it'd be like, this? This is what you bring me after two hours? I do think Dorit is this honest. Like I did, I think she is. I, I, I'm probably going to be get criticism for this, but <laughs> I think she's kind of guilty of just being almost too nice. I think she's a bad mm. housewife because, again, she has no real identity she's a I, she probably in life is a sweet nice friend she's you know she's probably yeah, sure. fine and she's not good at talking shit she's not good yeah. at like yeah you know really having her good one-liner she's not that creative mm -hmm. uh, you know she's just nice and fine yeah. and has some money to spend which kind of doesn't make her an interesting housewife and so now they're just kind of coming after her for stupid petty shit but i honestly as a person she probably is Sure. Pretty decent, yeah. I'm guessing. She does make a lot of shit about herself, though, which is annoying. No. Like, that's the most you annoying thing You can be nice and annoying. <laughs> most <laughs> nice people are annoying. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah, but I just don't think she age. is. I don't think she's one of the deplorables that we're talking about. Her, yeah, so, no. her storyline is to be a friend, but she's not even a friend because yeah. she has no friends this season. On the flip so. side, <laughs> someone who is an excellent housewife, yeah. an iconic housewife, someone I've met and I have this like weird loyalty to because we were on Dancing with the Stars together, mm-hmm. Erica Jane. She's a great housewife. She's great, a great character. character. But would anyone in this room like stump for her as a high character person? If your life was on the line <laughs> and you had to advocate for, you know what, Erica Jane is a high character person would you advocate for her is our life on the line because it's snowing in pasadena because <laughs> <laughs> maybe i would then um i i will say i well i don't know i was gonna say i think she can be a ride or die friend to some extent oh, for sure but it, i mean so, you it, know. so so would tom sandoval yeah he'll pick to you up Schwartz. at the airport he'll bury a body airport. lax He'll also sleep with your ex fiance. As long as tom sandoval <laughs> yeah. one day can say hey i picked you up i need you to lie yeah. for me now yeah he will yeah. Like those are okay. easy favors. That's, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, we had she had to learn what empathy meant last season, so you know that's not a. Great... I do think that was edited against her. <laughs> um, but like recently, she, I, I, I just, I cannot get on her the whole earring thing and just her, her like she seems to be on this like campaign trail of like, see, I was right yeah. and you were wrong, and I'm yeah. like, no, I don't know where, where, where were you right? Like, yeah. yes. You you weren't in cahoots with your ex husband. Fine. Mm-hmm. Y- yeah. You weren't part of the scam. Fine. Yeah. But like, you you didn't handle the reaction right to your husband stealing a bunch of innocent people's entire life savings the best possible way. And no, I'm not sorry for questioning how you handled it. You know. No. And, like, and now uh, she's back in court. Uh, yeah. Her case. Is she? Yeah. yeah. This is for a, it's an old. Kind of an old one. It's resurfaced where she sued her ex-designer for fraudulent charges on her American Express, oh. specifically seven hundred and eighty-seven thousand dollars. Oh yeah, he spent was that it for hair and makeup and costumes at least no. something within that. She sued him originally, <laughs> saying it was fraudulent. She got the refund back onto her card, and then okay. now he's suing her again, saying defamation <laughs> of character that oh, wasn't fraudulent God. causes. She told me to spend it. <laughs> whatever, it, whatever it may be, but she tried to like silence it, and the judge was like, "No, we're gonna go to trial." So that's what mm. it is. I just can't get on the Erica Jane like you're the hate train. I almost went to Vegas. Not that, no, it's just, I would have done it. I <laughs> to see her. Oh, I, yeah, oh I wanted God. to see her. Justin, we'll go to. Uh, we'll okay. go. We'll, is she still there? No, still performing. Is she not? I think she. It was just a one month residency. Oh, oh, I don't know. Next time, I would have gone. That's a shame. Private performance. I, I, I I'm have a fan. Always, I just, I've always been a fan of Erica. Oh, yeah. Like I think she's fun to watch. Yeah, she's an she's a housewife. good villain because oh she's not terrible. But she also, we like, don't know, you that. know, she's well, on the show. I, I mean, like, like how she speaks, like where I'm like, there was like Lisa Renna who just like turned me off anytime yeah. she would come with Venom. But I'm like, Erica's type of Venom was like, There's she's almost smart with it. it. Yeah, it was like yeah. witty. Yeah. And then also like Funny. if you didn't catch that, you thought about it two minutes later and you're like, no, like, you know, she's an excellent housewife. I just yeah. again, maybe she's an, an excellent person who just right. Who, yeah. who uh, but how she's handled this fallout. Yeah. Um, it well, just, they did. It's just hard for me to get on board. They did the housewife and the hustler part two. Did mm-hmm. you see that? I haven't seen it yet. And she like sat down with some of the victims and was like I've talking to it. them. So how it's did, like, how did it land? They were fine. I mean, they were just kind of stone faced <laughs> watching her. But she was like, you know, did you feel like Erica kind of redeemed herself? <laughs> when when you say she was like, you know, what do you mean? Was she like, my bad? <laughs> was she wearing the ring she got with her money? Yeah. The earrings? No, she earrings. was very much like, you know, well, I. I didn't know any of this. Like she it was basically like, we're all victims here. Oh. Like all of us, you know? But, but no, again, there's something Erica. about Erica I mean, when she says that shit. You're like, yeah, we are. Oh, oh my we're, God. we're all victims. You're I, right. I don't no, know. I think it's because if you disagree with her, she's good at fighting back and you're afraid yeah. of her. Yeah. It's that or what? Or what? Or what? I mean, I, I will that. give her this season. She did redeem herself in the sense of keeping keeping it all in the box. I was like, last yeah. last season, it was just explosive, explosive, explosive. This mm-hmm. time where it was like the Sutton said something on the plane. I was like, well, <laughs> here we go. And she goes, no, I'm not going to let that bother me. I gave you guys up for Lint. And yeah. I was like, what? She also, <laughs> yeah. she also does like just objectively look great this season. Always. Oh, when yeah. they flashed back to uh, I think it was last year's reunion when she goes, yeah. like, I'm ready for you, Andy. And then you flash to this reunion. <laughs> yeah. Glow it was a glow up. up. Mm-hmm. She looks she, good except for that confessional where it's like a pink latex with like a bedazzled bow tie. It's not the best outfit, but like she just <laughs> was like, what was that? She one? looks she looks fresh. 
She does. She does. Yeah, she, she, looks does. she looks good this season. Mentally there. Yeah. 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 Lumi body odor is officially canceled for good this time. And let me tell you, postpartum BO is unreal. It's unmatched. It's really, really scary. But thanks to Lumi, I am beating it. And we're still in love. Don't let body odor break your relationship. No, we don't want to smell each other's bad body odor. No, we just wipe each other down with Lumi deodorant wipes. It's seriously safe for anywhere on your body. So you can put it on your pits, your under boobs, your thigh folds, your belly button, your butt cracks, your vulvas, your feet, literally anywhere no, on your body. Sure, it is safe. Truly, it is game changing. We went to Joe and Serena's wedding. Forgot to put deodorant on. Thank God I had my Lumi deodorant wipes because I just walked right in the bathroom, cleaned myself up. Prior weddings, I had to hold de-robe, take the bow tie off. It was a whole mess. Not with the Lumi deodorant wipe. No, 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 no. They're, the convenience is unmatched. They literally have saved people's days, lives even. It is created by an OBGYN who saw firsthand how normal BO is being misdiagnosed and mistreated. And it's baking soda free, paraben free, pH balance for safe use below the belt. The Lumi Starter Pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like the mini body wash and those deodorant wipes, which I recommend for every single person on this planet. And free shipping. As a special offer for our listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi Starter Pack with code V-I-A-L-L at LumiDeodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit LumiDeodorant.com. Use code V-I-A-L-L. That's L-U-M-E, Deodorant.com, and use code V-I-A-L-L. MeUndies. Best underwear in the game. Nick looked at me last night and said, I need more MeUndies. I did, truly. True story. They are form-fitting. They are breathable. They don't sag. Even the nicest cotton underwears, they eventually, after a couple wears and a couple washes, there's a little droop. And then they bunch up on them thighs. Mm -hmm. No one likes that, but Nobody. not with me undies. And the thing about me undies, like, again, sometimes you have to do one of the two things. You either have to go for durability or breathability. And not with me undies. They have a little bit of both. And the best part is you can, they come in such a fun variety. You can get your, you know, your basic blacks, your solid colors, but they have prints. On prints, on prints, on prints, on prints, on prints. You can also match with your partner, which I think is so fun. fun. We love to do that. Yeah. Obviously. Mm -hmm. They also have versatile loungewear, so it's not just about underwear. Explore the lounge collection featuring comfy joggers, hoodies, onesies, and more. Also, their Move Me activewear collection is the softest activewear on the market. So, if you're not wearing me undies, well, you're doing underwear wrong, let me tell you. Get some for you and your partner in your life. And ladies, if you're listening, chances are your man needs to upgrade his underwear drawer stat. And if he does not want to match with you, break up with him. Yeah, because then he's no fun. Uh, get 20% off your first order plus free shipping at MeUndies.com slash Viofiles. That's MeUndies.com slash V-I-A-L-L-F-I-L-E-S for 20% off plus free shipping. MeUndies. Comfort from the outside in. All right, is it love is, blind, love is Blind time? It's Love is love blind, blind time. Are you ladies enjoying this season? Yeah, I Excellent love it. Season. I love Love is Blind. I'm sick of their shit. <laughs> Who's there? Tell us how you feel. All of their shit. I, I was really excited for these last two episodes because we had that cliffhanger, right? Where it was like, he was out till 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. with... Who ended up being Sarah Ann? Uh, Sarah Ann. Uh, Jer Jeremy. 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 <laughs> Jeremy. Jeremy. But then it was just, it felt very anticlimactic. And it was just kind of like, now they're just done. Yeah. I want more drama. <laughs> Is that asking for too much for a reality show? Well, the um, drama was passed on to Sarah fair. Ann, right? Right. With, with the she, jet skis. Well, so yeah. she was. <laughs> Yeah, that was a move. It. Also, her walking in just like so unfazed. Like I sat there and my jaw dropped. I was like, the the audacity. Like she's like, I'm like, you just broke up an engagement, and she's like, hi everyone, so nice to see you. I've been up since five a.m. <laughs> <laughs> how do you guys? Let's. I mean, how do we feel about her DMing him? Like, what are what are the? I thoughts? hate it. I don't mind it. I don't <laughs> mind either. it either. I don't I'm think not it's... that mad at her. Like I think she's also this part of the experiment. Yes, she. You're like it's like if it's it's the same as like if we're on Tinder. Like you're not only talking to one person on Tinder. Like it just seems it seems but fair for her not to like, like similar message. to the Zach and Bliss situation. Like if she was all in on this experiment and then it didn't work out in the pods, she's probably like, I have a very limited window to get a free ring and a free wedding. So <laughs> let's go for it. Right. Well, I also think like she's not dumb. She's seen the show. She knows that these relationships don't go well once yeah. they're together. I think poorly executed on her part. Sure. Yeah. But I just don't think it's 
comparable to like a, a real life infidelity scandal type yeah. of thing. So yeah. I, I, I guess, that, and that's what I mean. We can, when it comes to love is blind and bash a criticism, I love all the discourse <laughs> that we're having, but like it, it is a different conversation. And I yeah. think we need to like have that adje- objectivity yeah. that like comparing Sarah's behavior of DMing Jeremy after the pot, it is not the same as a real life affair mm-hmm. because Correct. it's like yeah. the, the the lines are so blurred. Yeah, in terms of and the timeline is so the t- short. Yes. Timelines are so exactly. short, and like oh, they but they're engaged. I'm like okay, like half these people are you know you don't know if they got engaged for TV or not. They're yeah. questioning each other's sincerity. They don't even know their middle names. Yeah, like, come on, we don't even know <laughs> if they actually got in to actually get engaged yeah. after the well, Trevor text messages. Is, does she even? Like, would she have known if they he had ended up getting engaged? Because he could say, I intend to propose to this person, to her. Right. Yeah, they definitely but keep she, him in the dark. True. Yeah, she possible. doesn't they know. They probably heard about it, but yeah, she could she could play dumb, potentially. Like, I hate the action of it in general just because, like, girls, girls. Like, I'm like, yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't like the going behind the back and whatever. But at the same time, exactly, you guys are right that it's like yeah. the timeline is so short. She is a part of this experiment, too. And clearly there was a connection that was stronger. And seeing... um. Laura and Jeremy out of the pods and like meeting her family and everything. I was like, this isn't going to work out. Yeah. But for yeah. her and Jeremy to be like, you know what? Should we just go jet skiing? And like, <laughs> I know. Like, that's a choice. And like, you got it. I'm going like back to Laura and like making it look like she's literally watching them. Jet Have ski. they never seen <laughs> reality TV ever? I, and what does so Jeremy funny. have to hide? If he is wearing a Hawaiian shirt underneath his vest, that guy has secrets. Right. <laughs> also, uh, what is tatted on that body? Yeah. Mm. Two people fighting over Jeremy just. I'm constantly quoting Arrested Development where it's like, <laughs> him? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never understand it, but... It's like an alternate reality. I, I assume they just cut out all his interesting commentary and yeah. personality. I don't know, because I feel that way about Jimmy and the pods and everything, too, where I was just like, how, 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 how are Jimmy and Jeremy? Which Jimmy? Uh, Megan Chelsea. Fox. Megan Fox, Chelsea. okay. Yes. But Jimmy. it's like, how are these the two Jimmy. guys? Well, you, you know? asked Jess about that, right? Like, what was the big thing about him? Like, yeah, I think... Uh, he, he had was, the riz. He had like he had swagger. He had the riz. He had the riz. He acted. Guys. And that's, I think that's, uh, maybe that's Jeremy's big thing is just like <laughs> not caring. Yeah. You yeah. know, being messy. Yeah. Not caring. Uh, being indifferent, you know, and Laura, is it Laura? Yes. Laura. She's no personality prize, you know. <laughs> She's Mm-mm. not exactly the most pleasant <laughs> person to be around. Yeah. Not at all. It's hard for me. And I guess it just like, talked about this before, like I've been cheated on. And it's like, it's so hard for me to believe and I get that feelings are feelings, but like to get this worked up over somebody you've known for like three weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, I'd be like, all right, whatever. Fuck that. Like it's, <laughs> t- I equate it to like a Tinder, like a Tinder hookup or it's just like, I don't know you to get this upset about it. Yeah. It's like getting ghosted. I mean, by ghosted, I mean someone who didn't reply to the third message. Yeah. And then losing your shit. Yeah. On yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. Got a little I almost bit of that. feel like if I were on Love is Blind, which I obviously wouldn't be, but like if it were between me and someone else, I would rather be the one they didn't choose because it usually works out better for that person. Yeah. Like it just goes to shit most of the time. Yeah. I'd be like, well, good. <laughs> yeah. See you at that weird cocktail party yeah. that we're all invited to. Did oh. that. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. Uh, I did love how AD addressed Sarah, though. I mean, that was oh. covert. I loved yeah. it. Because you didn't know at any moment if they were friends. I know. Or if she was, like, coming at her. Yeah. <laughs> Which, that's a skill. Like, AD. It is she a skill. Is, she is one smart cookie. Yeah. I uh, love yeah. she got to the point, but was also, like, at times switched into like, give me the tea, girl. No, yeah. I'm on your side. And then she's like, yeah. did you really think that that was? And I was like. <laughs> that was a masterclass. That, literally. Yeah. Yeah. Let me take notes. I got to rewatch because I was like, that is the, the best confrontation I've ever seen. That wasn't negative. It wasn't like attacking, yeah. but it was very much like you give me all the information and then I'm going to tell you why that information isn't right. And yet, mm-hmm. and yet she is still susceptible to the fuck boy because. Yeah. Those who cannot do teach. Clay is desperately trying to tell her. I am not going to marry you. I, <laughs> yeah. I will cheat on you. Do not pick me. He is doing the classic guy move of, I, I don't have the guts to break up with me because you will make yeah. me look like a bad guy. So I'd rather just be a bad partner yeah. and have you break up with me. Most men do that, especially the fuck boys. It's like the lesser of two evils. Like, mm, I'll yeah. just, just break up with me. Yeah. And he is begging AD <laughs> to break up with them. And she just can't see it because... 
he can't actually say it. So yeah. like, it's always like the maybes and we'll sees and like, I'm going to cheat on you. My dad's going to cheat on you. Like, oh, <laughs> everyone's going to cheat on you. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to cheat on you. But like, you're amazing D A D like you're the yeah. best you've done. So, and he always finishes it with like, but you've done so much for me. And then that that's the AD's ego being like, yeah, I have mm-hmm. I yeah. done so much. He's for hearing you. what she wants to hear. Yeah. 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 He loves me. That's I truly like, I, I saw this, I forget the, uh, the creator who is, maybe there's other people out there, but like, I think someone pointed out that what the show has taught reminded me that love is not blind no <laughs> uh because yeah. even yeah. on a show called love is blind where people fall in love having not seen each other's faces you still have selective hearing throughout their entire oh, relationship God, yeah. people cherry picking what they want to hear yes, and not yes. hearing it is amazing just how hard of hearing we become yeah. when mm-hmm. we uh, have a goal yeah yeah yeah, it's, it's like true when, for when we see each other too. It's like when you're texting someone that you're interested in and you're like reading their message how you want to hear it. Yeah. yeah. And not actually how it's intended. Yeah. It's just, it's the same as that. They're so desperate to like be in love or like find love that they're just cherry picking. Yeah. The yeah. Good and then stuff. you have uh, Chelsea trying her wine her way into oh my a marriage. God. Per- a marriage. Is Megan Don't, Fox, right? Megan yeah. Fox, yeah. Is Jimmy a fucking saint or does he just really want to see this thing through to Jimmy's the end? Jimmy's an idiot. I don't, yeah, I don't. He's not a saint. He's what's an idiot. his deal though? I honestly, I'm with, I kind of with you, Brooke. I just, I think, I don't know. I think we're in an era where like, if you're a guy in reality TV, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> he needs know, to get out of that like, relationship. You can well, do damn. no right. And so I think no one's giving him, but like, yeah. He's not the prettiest guy. He got set up by Chelsea, making it seem like he chose Megan Fox. <laughs> you know, uh, I will uh, say that was brutal. If you look at Megan Fox, old <laughs> Megan Fox, there's a lot of Holiday the internet's the trying sun. to come around. The internet is well, trying the to issue. Give... Look at Transformers, Megan Fox, like early days before anything had been done. Confessions. I of can see drama. it. Have you seen uh, the TikTok where they put Chelsea's now face on Jay Leno's? <laughs> Uh, face and then how that combination weirdly looks like Megan Fox. I can. No, I think the issue is it. that if you're describing yourself, Don't even if that. people have yeah. said you look like Megan Fox, like somebody yeah. on a plane's like, oh my God, your eyes look like Megan Fox or whatever. <laughs> and the person hasn't seen you. You can't say you, can't. you look like anybody no. that's oh. attractive because they're yeah. only going to picture the attractive person. Yeah. You should lie and say someone ugly and see, is love blind or not? I look very <laughs> similar to Joe Biden. And then you go from there and it's like, yeah. okay. I, I look I, I look like the villain in Ghostbusters too. There it is. Yeah. yeah. Go start with that. And then love really is blind. But if like yeah. he hears Megan Fox, he's like, oh my God. Well, you saw his reaction. I'm, yeah. like, I'm going to be M.G. Kelly. Went, oh, oh, oh. M.G. Kelly. And, but in the way she's like, you know, M.G.K.'s wife, as if he's the more famous one in the relationship. <laughs> right. Yeah. Jax like, is like, you're going to choke on your EpiPen. He's like, don't worry. Megan Fox is going to give me mouth the mouth so like <laughs> yeah joke was yeah oh, i man. will say jimmy humbles chelsea in the fight in this episode yeah where he's like you want me to stay take a step back well i'm not gonna take a step back and she was just like gag yeah. <laughs> no, he well, just getting way- upset about okay the whole thing where it's like because he slept with a friend mm-hmm. and it was like you're not it, well, she it, wasn't it, supposed yeah, to it say was that revealed. the internet was right there there was coitus in yeah. that friendship of course there was of course yeah. there was is that a bad thing? I think it's possible that they're just friends now, though. Oh, one hundred percent. It's just that's how you know Jimmy's kind of dumb. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, because you reasons. don't go on this show and have a, a, a Jimmy seems like a guy with a lot of friends. He does. He seems like he has a nice group of friends. Yeah, that yeah. are all women. Uh, and really. you and you think you know what? You know the two people I'm gonna hand select to bring onto this show <laughs> to meet my fiance, who I've only known for a couple of days, is someone who I used to have sex with, even if. <laughs> Even I, and I, I absolutely believe that this friendship is truly that platonic. Sure, that yeah. they could be stuck in an elevator for days and they would be like, "Ew." Yeah, I yeah. truly believe that. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like the stupidity. Yeah, the optics of that. It's still. It's is, also is ter- respect is, for your partner. Yeah. Just like all yeah. of that, where I'm like. Hey. You know, Chelsea hasn't had a lot of legs to stand on this season, but I will give her that where I'm like, don't put me in a situation yeah. where I'm uncomfortable. I never think it's okay to go through your partner's phone. But the fact that she didn't, she's like, who are you texting all day? Who are you? And it's like, it's not yeah. me. And that's the problem. You the know, thing with yeah. Chelsea, though, is that she tries too hard to seem cool with it. Like with the yeah. stuff with AD when he was talking about her butt. She's like, you can say whatever you want, babe. She's got a <laughs> great ass. And like, oh, my God, I love your friends. We're like going to be best friends. And then she's like. 
but then and then like then something turns and it's like now I'm pissed. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's very weird. I think she's doing her best in, in defense to her. Like she she wants to try to sound cool. She didn't ask yeah. Jimmy to bring girls to meet her, and so like what is she gonna do? Like be a bitch to them in real time? But sure. then her insecurities get the best of her. Yeah, she has a few drinks, and then she yeah. gets mad at Jimmy for going out while she's drunk. Uh, which is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Unleashes the dragon. Like literally is like, you do this, you do that. Where it's like, if you just would have said in the moment, hey, not cool. Yeah. That makes me a little uncomfortable. Yeah. Like it's like, okay, now we're, now we're establishing boundaries that right. what works for you and what doesn't. But like when you play the cool girl and are like, nothing phases me, nothing phases me, a couple glasses, you're like, well, guess what? Everything phases yeah. me and you get the rap. Yeah. You know? Well, nothing's less cool than being like, you haven't kissed me once today. And him being like, well, I kissed you in the bathroom and then I kissed the side of your head. And it's like, it's like if you'll not- check this whiteboard, I, I actually know. put marks down. It's like, I've been keeping track because I know you're going to get upset. It's right. Just, yeah. That's not a healthy like And Jimmy shelf. just trying to convince himself that he's in love with her. <laughs> No, I do saying. love you. It's yeah. kind of sad to watch. Ugh. Like, it's just like, I feel like he wants the experiment to work out so well that it's almost like he doesn't feel like he has another option because he's just like, no, I love you. I've told you I love you. I mean, I love you. And I'm just like, I've never seen someone <laughs> profess so hardly where I'm like, in the beginning, it was, it's okay. You don't look the way we can, we can work with that. And now it's like, no, but I love you more than anything. Why won't you believe me? You're and my yeah. person. Yeah. And but then- also, could you stop trying to have sex with me? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also not going to stop talking to the friends that make you uncomfortable that I slept with. Yeah. yeah. You well, know, it, you know, in Jimmy's mind, he's just like, I'm not going to forgo a 10 year friendship for a girl I just <sighs> met who's true. now giving me every indication that you're not the person I met in the pots. I will yeah. say, though, I think they've only been friends for like five years because when they went to that dinner, he's like, yeah, I met them like five years ago. Five. It's a gray area. still a long it's time. Still, I know. But is it <laughs> a friend for five years versus a girl you've known for a month? But like your but fiance, that's his person. Yeah, well, that's just that's what I'm like. I don't know how anybody speaks with a straight face. Yeah, where it's like I love you. I'm gonna. I want to die with you. Like grow old with you. And it's like that's why those gold goblets are always full. They're <laughs> delusional. They're like keep it coming so they think they're in love. It's true. Like, oh, we need God. a finale. How do you take this seriously? Uh, who do we think gets married? <laughs> Those two whose name I can't remember because they're so Johnny. in love and boring. And Amy. They're like oh. so in love and boring that I don't remember their names. Yeah. It's like they don't have any drama. They are they're perfect. Cute. That is the only problem with the show is that the only ones who end up together are the people we could give two fucks about. <laughs> yeah. Fast forward their segment. Yeah. 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 I know. <laughs> like, I know. It, is, uh, it is wild that uh, I don't know what bubble Johnny grew up in. And why are, why is it all the J's? It Johnny, is all the Jimmy, J's. Jeremy, 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 yeah. Johnny, Jimmy, Jerry. Jerry. But Jeremy's Jeremy. lack of education in, in sex ed is <laughs> alarming. He's the birth control one, right? Yeah. Yes. Right, right. He does right. know what a vasectomy is now, he is, though. He does now, but now he it's like, now. he's clearly like on WebMD. He clearly <laughs> found, just... he went down a rabbit hole of a blog. Some guy who was like, don't do it, dude. Like, <laughs> that's, that's the information. He's not, he did not go to a medical professional. And just say, hey, give me the 411 on like the risks and you know, the pros and cons of a vasectomy. He, he read a blog. This is why they need to stop cutting funding in schools for I was just sexual say, education. This is like classic example. You know, like how babies are made, how yeah. to prevent them. Like it's just like they, this is all part of it. And it just sounds like he just hasn't just learning. How is he 28? And it's like you just learned what a vasectomy is. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, snip, snip. Maybe he grew up like very religious because like we didn't have it, it normal gives very sex religious. Ed. It gives a lot of religion. It's fair. Yeah. Like it's our fair. school nurse walked in and put up a PowerPoint of vaginal warts and was like, <laughs> don't have sex, ladies, yeah. and left. Johnny definitely <laughs> Johnny Johnny gives a lot of like left the church six months ago. Yeah. For well, this also, show. It also gives I've been told it's a woman's responsibility to for us to not get pregnant. So why right. would I know what a well, vasectomy that would, is? That would align with whatever church he probably Right, left exactly. Like, yeah. They, yeah. They, they, they tend not to be That'll progressive the in the whole like yeah. men and women role dynamic. Yeah. I, yeah, I, AD and, and uh, Clay I don't think no. it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. Really? Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You think it's going to be... I don't think they're going to last. You think it's going to be kind of like a, a couple that shocked me last season. Um, yes, I think Chelsea it's going to be Kwame. like that. Kwame, yes. Yes. Yeah, and they're still together, yeah. are they not? I believe they, they are? literally posted on Instagram the other day, and I was like, ah! <laughs> "That is, I didn't even think they were together." Anything's anymore. possible. No. Yeah, yeah. So maybe, maybe they'll go the way of uh, 
I see them getting together and then like by the reunion being like and, we're not together. And Jeremy and yeah. uh, uh, Jimmy and Chelsea. Jimmy and Chelsea. If that one. I don't think so. Really? It's like I I, I, keep, I keep going back and forth where I'd be like absolutely Chelsea's not. Chelsea's saying yes. They're, I was like their last I, well, date. Jimmy. I keep thinking I keep forgetting that they're still together every time an episode Me comes too. on. I'm like wait you didn't break up after that fight? <laughs> same. You know? I thought they'd broken up when he I'm was like I'm leaving or whatever and I was yeah. like wow he's gonna hook You're up with drunk. Jess at this barbecue yeah, and, then and then I'm like wait no they're together. The next episode comes on I'm like wait you guys are still together? Yeah. You're on a roller coaster? Like, so who knows? I don't know. It's we'll kind see of if something me. happens with Jess. I feel like him oh. seeing Jess was kind of like. Isn't Jess dating someone else from the season now? Is she? Well, uh, Jess came on our podcast and hinted Jess that she's on. talking to someone, and everyone yeah. thinks it's Ariel. Well, there are right. She's that's been, what. Yeah, there have been photos on the internet of uh, a particular person in the Netflix. And place. Peter Pilot Pete's mom took the photos. <laughs> Posted it on her page first. Yeah, <laughs> I I could see Pilot Pete. <laughs> You know, co-pilot Barbara. Are we going to see that guy <laughs> who was like a psychopath in the beginning? Who Matthew? Was Matthew? Yeah. I don't yeah. think so. Are if we ever going to see him again? Yeah, oh, reunion. Maybe to. the reunion. Just the reunion. Oh, yeah, the reunion, God. I imagine. But I'm excited. I shirt. was shocked <laughs> that he, that was it for him. I, I know. We needed him around. I'm, I'm guessing he just opted not to come to that lake party. Mm. I can't imagine. He's why. probably they not as bad as he came across. He's probably just kind he, of a introverted weirdo. He yeah. came across terribly. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, "This editing is heavy." Yeah, I, I do. You know, not to be a guy apologist because there's plenty of bad ones out there. Yeah, uh, but there's also like bad women. I just think in the era <laughs> yeah. of How reality TV, that? it's like Never. it is tough being the only yeah. one. Well, the only one surviving like... reality TV is Joey. Segway. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully done. Yeah, no, it's just like it's hard. You really, you gotta, you gotta pitch a perfect game to be well liked as a man on reality TV. Is these days. Joey well liked? Is that the general consensus? Yeah, he's pretty. Uh, he seems pretty compared to loved past, by all. Loved by yeah. all. Yeah. he's very cute. He's I very can't cute wait to see his personality on Traders Three. And he doesn't have a personality on this show. That's, That's what I'm saying. We have argued. We know almost nothing about Joey. Yeah, uh, all of tennis. the shots except tennis. Yeah, all of the <laughs> scre- scenes are the women trauma dumping on him oh, yep. yep, and him glazed over look in his eyes that and I can say, relate thank to you for so sharing. hard. Those feelings are yeah, valid. Like that's his, it. His sister is like, say, say these six things over and over. I couldn't tell I you a single thing about it. I think there's more to him. <laughs> uh, there's gotta than, be. There is. Of course because, there is. You know, look at Pilot Pete. Like the, the Bachelor franchise is notorious for stripping down all the personality yeah. and siloing them into whatever narrative they yeah. have. They oversimplify their characters. And, and in some cases they do have to hide they're bachelor and bachelorettes from themselves. Clay Neckhart, you know, is someone mm-hmm. who, you mm-hmm. know, nicest guy in the world, but he is not a good decision maker. Right. Um, <laughs> which has been well documented. Joey, on the other hand, I think he, I think, he, I think I've heard a lot of good things, um, but we just don't know. Yeah. We, yeah. we just don't know. Uh, now we are in hometowns. I do feel like he showed some wisdom this episode um, with how it ended. I, I will say I'm watching hometowns through a different lens as a, as a, as a new dad. Yeah. Oh, really? I I cried. Oh yeah. Uh, which Chelsea's for hometown. I was gonna say Kelsey? for which one? Kelsey. Yeah. Uh, uh. Is Kelsey the one whose mom has passed? Yes. Yes. I thought the dads, as they often do, shined. This Maria's dad and Kelsey's dad. Kelsey's dad got me, and that was Kelsey's the first was, hometown, and that was when. Yeah. That, that's that's being a good dad. And yeah. I, he, he's had a line that I I don't know if it was caught by all, but for him to say at the very end of his like confessional. Something to the effect of, of like he's you know he's obviously protective of her mm-hmm. and yeah. worried, but like him acknowledging that she might get her heart heartbroken, and that's kind yeah. of a part of life. And the the yeah. bravery as a father to, to you know that I think that you know again, I'm only a month in, <laughs> but you you know the you have to teach your kids all these lessons, and then you have to give them a chance mm-hmm. as adults to to get it right or get it wrong. Yep. And when yeah. they get it wrong, to hopefully learn from it, not yes. to be the helicopter parents right. who are, who won't let them make decisions for themselves. And you could just tell that uh, Kelsey's dad is someone who really given him, given her all the lessons he can, but is willing to yeah. let her, you know, spread her wings and make her own choices. And I just like that relationship. Just like it, it I I sobbed watching yeah. her, her, mm-hmm. her dad, and I. I Kelsey has a good one. That's real support. Yeah. It was real, real support. love. Yeah. And it was like, I'm not making this about me. I'm not putting myself in like a, between you and whatever choices that you're making. Just know like if this works out fantastic, I couldn't be happier for you. And if not, like I'm here for you. And like, yeah. that's what I like to see when it's coming to the parent situation versus the parent acting as if they're on the show being right. like, 
well, there's three other there's women. Three other, we all know. Every time. We all know. Yeah. yeah. You know, every time where it's like, no, but support your kid in the choices that she's making. And exactly what you said, if it doesn't work out, I'm going to be here for you. Yeah. I do love how Maria's dad uh, handled the three other women conversation mm-hmm. where he didn't do the whole classic like, well, you know, there's three other women. He was like, there are three other women. <laughs> and if you're going to sit here and tell me that you're mm-hmm. falling in love with the other ones, I'm here to tell you I'm not hearing it. I loved that yeah. because like, yeah, he, this is a guy who maybe has seen this show before. He's familiar with the tropes and he's like, just don't say that to me. Don't give me that. kind." I love how he said that. He's just like, don't even bother with your bachelor bullshit. <laughs> say something real to me. Like, yeah. I really loved how he did that. All these women, you could tell that like they've had good fathers because they're able to like make decisions from set a good boundary, mm-hmm. you know, enforce a boundary, you know. Maria's been good television. You can see where her confidence comes from. You know, <laughs> yeah. you meet, you just met her dad. Yeah. And like, yep. Were you the one saying he's like a mob boss? Well, yeah. they they made it seem it was the music in the background. Right? Yeah. Like the, so you said that, or didn't you? Well, I no, I don't oh, know. I, don't know. I was just I thought that these were the most <laughs> felt the most authentic and genuine hometown visits that I've seen. Yeah, like, the family relationships seemed. I know that there was obviously stuff productions telling them to talk about, but they all felt like they had healthy family relationships, yeah. and I feel like that's not that common on this show. I mean, everyone has their trauma and they talk about, but I just felt like. Kind of like to what you're saying, like the parents, the dads, all of them just seemed very like supportive in their relationships. I don't know. It was yeah. the first time that I was like, I feel like this is how I would have with my dad. Right. I kind of feel a bit lied to after watching an entire season of trauma dumping. And you're like, wait, you guys are all <laughs> wonderfully loved. Yeah. You're yeah. like, what is going yeah. on there? Yeah. I wish I had dynamics. this type of love in my family. Yeah. I um, can't believe Daisy's family has a Christmas tree farm. Like, I is this a like, lifetime this holiday Hallmark? movie? The Kiss in the Snow. And I was like, this could be your every day. Like, this is not a bachelor made date. <laughs> this is her yeah. family's farm. Yeah. Yeah. ABC yeah. lost their minds. <laughs> they were like, this is the perfect built in setting. We've Someone's ever getting had. a bonus because yeah. that budget got like, <laughs> yeah. there's a little left or left. And over. Joey was like, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but my dad is a billionaire. And he's going to build a hotel this, on this property. Yep. yep. <laughs> She's like, but Time what about the snow the globe falls cookie decorating gala later? <laughs> what do we think of uh, Joey sending Maria home? I, I think I it was a good choice. Yeah. I think my, she was yeah. doing too many power moves. Like even when she said right before the road, she goes, <laughs> she goes, wait, Joey, can we talk? And then she comes back and then Rachel's like, what was that about? And she's, she's like, like, I don't, I don't know. know. And Rachel's <laughs> like, but you brought <laughs> him over. You don't. Well, I mean, like, what is she supposed to say? I am trying I to like. I declared my love. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I don't trying think, to stay. It was one final I don't final think it's Hail anyone Mary. else's business in that moment. I also, hanging, and knowing how that show works, the show will always like steal you. You know, when you say, hey, mm. I really need to get this out. I need to say this. They'll go out of their way to make sure yeah. you don't get to say it when you want to mm. say it so that you have to say it when it inconveniences all your other peers. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I see what to you're create saying. Because it was, it was just like, she was like, I should have said it. And yeah. he left. And then she says it in the airplane hangar. And I was like, he should be like, no, I'm not picking you anyway. It doesn't Last matter. So, like, I mean, I just, yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, But also like when she didn't get it, he sat down with her right after. And then she's just like, okay. She seems And then fine. doesn't even hug, just walks right into the yeah. car. Did she play a perfect game? No. <laughs> Do you she's, think she did? If she ends up Bachelorette, well, then is, yes. Is she, she is well, she's I very popular in Bachelor Nation. You can't? I, I can't, can't see I'm her here being to a tell you that there are conversations happening. I was like, even then they did the, and where I'm like, I know it means nothing, but they did the teaser last week of, if you want to be on The Bachelor or Bachelorette. And uh, what's his, Jesse Jesse's did like, the Canadian accent where obviously they were filming in Canada too. So mm-hmm, there's that. But it yeah. was just like, it's giving that there's a possibility and I'm not really the biggest fan. But at the same time, I'm like, out of the three girls that are left, like, I want Daisy to win. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, Daisy would be a great bachelorette. I want, I want Kelsey to win because I think Daisy would be an excellent bachelorette. That's, and I think mm. uh, she would be their choice if she doesn't win, which makes me kind of think that Daisy does win. But wait, why do you think she'd be a great bachelorette? Daisy? Yeah. I think they t- they love a bachelorette in general who is who who is feisty. The Hannah Brown. It's like that's mm-hmm. That's what they love. Mm-hmm. Um, they like a bachelor who's dumb. Generally speaking, well, she's also yeah. like overcome um, adversity with her health situations and whatnot. But yeah, so you already so, but, have, and I, I don't yeah. think Daisy's all that polarizing, but she is clearly like you know. Last episode, she's I don't know if I'm feeling right. falling for you. Daisy can think for herself. She can speak for herself. She can set a boundary. She knows who she is. That yeah. I think that rings true with the all these four women. Mm-hmm. Um, and she has that demure 
Um, she has a Christmas tree farm. <laughs> she has her storyline. I don't know how what's the right way to say it, but her cochlear implants. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, that's a compelling storyline. There's a, you know, she's obviously beautiful, and I think I think she just is a total package. Yeah. If if Daisy does win, Maria seems to be the next obvious choice because, well, maybe she, you know, like Maria's big storyline is an accident when she was like the two months truck. old yeah yeah um that she doesn't probably remember i don't know At but two like years old, yeah, um, i don't know but she's also like a fun time girl so but, uh, it was she, the pulling she, the shots out for the date where like everybody else was like oh welcome to my she home. will she clearly will yeah. speak up when she has a she won't be afraid to sh- sure say how she feels mm-hmm. and more than anything i think they value that in a bachelorette mm-hmm. yeah um i think she'll Kelsey's be a little more demure and quiet yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, Rachel, I mean, we don't even n- know anything about her relationship with Joey. So yeah. that's, you know, I was we don't like, even Rachel know who she is. Yeah. And if Kelsey ended up being the bachelorette, and I think she's a very sweet girl. I love her story. But it's like, it's going to give me like Becca. Like, it's just going to be kind of snooze fest because you're yeah. just, there's not a, a yeah. lot going from on From what there. we know, from what from we've what, seen. Right. Yeah. But I'm just like, it, it's not as compelling as if you had a Maria being like, hi, everybody, fireball shots from first night in. You yeah. know? Yeah. I think Maria is a better choice just because I think they just need She's something She's different. Good TV, yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah, she is good TV. So. I do think if Daisy were to be the Bachelorette, one hundred percent, somebody would come out of the limo with a Christmas tree they already cut. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> or right? dress as Santa. I would love it. Just no. What they'll do? They'll four guys will. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one has the sweater. Because you know, they do. They're like, <laughs> so do you? You know, do you have any ideas? You yeah, know, that's that's how yeah. it works. And <laughs> these guys, you know, who are you know critical thinkers, will all be like, I have the best idea. <laughs> I want to bring a Christmas tree, you know? No and one's going to think of it. It's like my, you probably don't remember on my season, there were like seven wet red dresses. Yeah. And it wasn't like the producers <laughs> didn't know what they were all wearing. <laughs> yeah. Um, everyone was like, hey, I have this perfect red dress. And everyone was like, dope. You know, no one was like, ooh. And ah. then Dorit came yeah. out in that. Yeah. Get and up. then Dorit came out and <laughs> I was like, like, oh, like there's that's the one. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't give you a rose, but I'll uh, vouch <laughs> yeah. for you on so Beverly Hills. So all the guys will be like, no, I've been bringing a Christmas tree. And they'll be like, yes, do that. <laughs> uh, and it'll be four of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Okay. I have a question though. Is there a world where production is like, we desperately want Daisy to be the bachelorette so you can't choose her? I suggested that maybe a couple weeks ago that that could happen. Two production. <laughs> You called it up Listen, and you're like, guys, I, like I'm telling you, Daisy's the one. <laughs> Here's here in my experience, uh, I think the show. I've always said that they have two priorities. Two, their two biggest priorities on the Bachelor: one, make excellent television. Yes, mm-hmm. that's priority number one. And I get it; it's a business more than anything. Yeah. And two, they do care about their lead finding love. Mm-hmm. And if they can work <laughs> in unison, that's always the dream. Ideal. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's often is the case. Um, if they sense that their lead is torn Mm -hmm. between two choices Mm -hmm. you know there might be there there uh there have been former contestants who have publicly stated you know that they were that the being the lead on the next season was broached to them before the season they were Mm. on finished Mm. um uh, i would definitely prefer to be the bachelorette than the winner of the bachelor i mean when you really think about it like winning the show is uh usually you usually you lose that's just like love is blind that's what i'm saying yeah <laughs> and, I, and i say that thinking about two times where i remember being heartbroken that i didn't win and mm-hmm. where my life would be yeah I'm not yeah. here yeah i would not be here you you're have usually outcasted by your peers mm-hmm. yeah. uh, mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. partly because you have a relationship to hide and you you know there's a pettiness so you you didn't really make the friends that you wanted to have typically yeah and the relationships usually don't work out and then you're the forgotten person usually in that relationship you know yeah yeah it's uh it's tough being the winner wow you know. speaking from experience well well yeah, no you know. no but Not i have really. seen it but you were the bachelor well yeah well yeah one i ter- consider that winning well yeah i i, I, listen, but I when mean it comes, I, yeah when it comes to the bachelor i humbly i like to think <laughs> i definitely won yeah yeah all right well i think that about does it uh as always we appreciate you guys listening we are back on thursday with the iconic duo of Spencer and Heidi Pratt. <gasps> I have been uh, looking forward to having them on this show. I, um, I'm a big fan of these two. I've, we went on theirs. Yeah. I find, yeah I, as did I. Yeah. I yeah. find it to be wonderfully fun and authentic. What's so great about them, they, that's the key of being, I would give advice to anyone on reality TV. The key of being having a long lasting career on ra- reality TV mm-hmm. is consistency and authenticity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The first part, flip it, authenticity 
and consistency. Be mm-hmm. consistent who with who you authentically are. Yeah. And honestly, people will, that's it. That's all you really got to do. Yeah. Good, bad, make your mistakes, fuck up, say you're sorry. But people just want to know who you are and what you stand for. Yeah. Which is honestly why Jax Taylor, for all his <laughs> evilness, people still want to give him the benefit of the doubt because they're like, yeah, but we know he's a piece yeah. of shit. Yeah. Yeah. But Heidi and Spencer are, have always been authentically who they are. Yeah. And I they've been consistent with it. And that's can't. why- They've had the career that they've had. I can't believe how much I liked Spencer, like when we met him. Uh, I like, think he's great. So likable. Yeah. So great. So, great. Yeah. so funny. Yeah. So interesting. Both of them together. Yeah. Uh, can't wait to have him on. And I can't wait for you guys to hear that conversation. That's this Thursday. Also, we'll get into all the things that we didn't get to talk about in our intro, like maybe bits of information and reality recap that we didn't get to talk about. Tune in. You're going to miss it. Nally will be here. The gang will be here. The household <laughs> will be here. Uh, can't wait for you to check it out. Uh, ladies, thanks for coming back. Yeah, thanks, thanks for Nick. having us. Always a pleasure. Yeah. We'll so have to do this again. Please Apparently. plug your shows. Okay. We have our daily show, Rich and Daily, Monday through Friday, that we're going to go and record right now. We have Even the Rich that drops on Tuesdays. We have Even the Royals that drops on Mondays. Brooke is at Brooke Sifrin. I'm at Arisha Skidmore Williams. Arisha. Yeah. Now, I had it too. Before you even said your name, I was like, <laughs> Arisha, Brooke, thanks for coming. <laughs> This is so that's fun. why, I've, you know, like we named our daughter River. And when we named our daughter River, we were just like, you know, that's kind of a unique name. But since yeah. we've named our daughter River, yeah. everyone's like, me too. It's like, <laughs> me too. It's like uh, yeah. you know, when I, I think when my parents named me Nick, they thought they were being super original. And I went to school <laughs> with like 10. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, I, I'm glad, you know, because, yeah. you know, you know, it's just like, is, has it been tough? I'm asking like your whole life. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah she's you know? And I was very much like in not... college. How was college? It must have been brutal. It, the worst was like school before college because every teacher said it wrong and yeah. I was much shyer now and so I would just let them say my name wrong. Yeah. And you were passed out most of college so you probably don't remember that. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> I was. The worst part is my buddy who had his kid like three months ago. He was like, I named my son River. I'm like, oh, <gasps> didn't know that. Oh, no. Oh, I guess I'm a bad oh, One my of my cousins God, named Nick. their child Brooke and I was like, no. After you? Do it over. Yes. That's uh, yeah. an honor. No. Yeah. I, I think I see it as an honor. Like, it's not you, an know, honor. you don't want to get too Bro. original with a name, you know? Yeah. Because then your kids' the whole life is like, no, no, that's not it. Sorry. I hated it. I like it now. But growing up, I hated it because you don't want to be different. And I was different. Yeah. You, I was like. You probably learned a lot of patience for people like me who just like who had you on and can't, you know, yeah. she's not a patient person. Not about <gasps> that. I am very patient about it. About people saying my name wrong? Yeah, I'm very patient no, about it. No, mine's Sierra, spelled C-I-A-R-A, and it was that like- That is very a... confusing when you see it on paper. Well, Wait, what? It's, mine's Sierra, C-I-A-R-A. C-I-A-R-A. That's how I would think it. So I people, it's Sierra, Sierra it's Clara, O-C-I. it's whatever you want it to be, but like my Clara. biggest thing was like trying to find my name in the keychains and being like, ah. <laughs> yeah, that's always that the keychain. That was the hard part. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Arisha, Brooke. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming. Always a pleasure. Great talking reality TV with you ladies. We'll be back again on Thursday. Don't forget to send in those questions at asknickatthevowfiles.com for all things Ask Nick, texting office hours. While you're waiting for going deeper, uh, go back and check out our episode of Ask Nick that dropped on Monday. It's a good one. You will not want to miss it. And on next week on Monday, it's a special Ask Nick. Dr. Phil joins us for Ask Nick. Oh my God. He was on Frasier. (laughs) One episode. That was his big break. That was his big break. How we all know him. It was fun to give relationship advice with Dr. Phil. I bet. I bet. So, uh, <laughs> I take your advice over his, though. Thank you. Same. Yeah. We were pretty in line, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that why you're wearing those boots? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the whole country in me for Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>